Move that back. There we go. Move this over. Move this over. There we go. I think we're good. All right. Hey, guys. How are we looking here? Everything's situated. Hi, Arlene. Becky. How y'all doing? How was your weekend? Good to see you. Okay, can you hear me? Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. <laughs> Patty, Barb. Can you all hear me? Okay. <clears throat> hey, Sue. <coughs> I get my voice rolling here. Julia. Thank you, Becky. Hi, Pacola. How you doing? Are you uh, expecting some rain from that storm down there in Florida? I know Boo's probably going to get some down there in Tallahassee. What about you? Hang on, I'm cleaning my glasses. What about you, uh, Pacola? Let's see. Anus Anus Anuska? Anuska? Jeanette, Catherine, Darlene, there's Janet, how you doing? Thanks, Janet, Pamela, Riri, you'll get some rain and wind, yeah. Debbie, so yeah. So, thanks everybody for joining me. I thought we would just work in some of the small journals today. Rachel, Gabby. Let's see. I'm trying to catch everybody as they roll on by. Yeah, Boo's in uh, Tallahassee. So, um, she'll probably get some too, although she's more inland than, than you are. <clears throat> Fritchie featured in yeah that's Fritchie d just ignore that stuff it's all it's all fake and they don't even <clears throat> they don't even have the right information anyway so yeah <laughs> that's, yeah it's a it's a bunch of yeah it's a bunch of fake stuff and and it, it's all wrong anyway all the stats are wrong so I just ignore it Hi, Amaris, Amaris, Amaris. Let's see, Dodge, you got a bunch of canvas boards. Oh, awesome. Diana. Uh, who else? Let's see. Yeah, fake news, Barb. <laughs> yeah. Uh Let's see. It's actually night in your... In, where are you, Anushka? <clears throat> I mean, you don't have to say what city or anything, you know, but if you want to tell us where you are. Hey, Zeely, it's been a while. Good to see you. And who else? Let's see. Um, India. India. Okay, Anushka. <clears throat> I think I might have seen you at Barb's before. Barb Owen. Sorry, guys. I got to get my voice going here. Small books are great. Yeah, yeah. So there. let me back out one so you can see them a little bit in real perspective there. Let's see. Uh, let me straighten out my camera. There we go. So you can see them kind of in real size. I'll zoom in when I start working on them. So welcome from, from India. <coughs> um, <clears throat> I got my juice here. But I haven't talked for a couple hours since Hubster left. So <clears throat> I got to get my voice rolling. <laughs> Let me mute. Uh, sorry, guys. I probably need to get some hot coffee or something i got cold juice uh let's see 
Julie G, you're the inspiration for today's show. Julie sent me. <laughs> Y'all know, all right, at my uh, my Walmart this year, they didn't have these small, the small ones. They had these. They had these this year, composition books. Well, I guess Julie heard me say, well, they didn't have these this year. She sent me a three pack and this nice tag, pocket full of sunshine. So thank you so much, Julie G. <laughs> that was so nice. I waited to open them till the show. So this is how thin they come, guys. And look how I, I bulk them up. This is what they look like. This is what they look like after you work in them for a while. So um, thank you, Julie. <laughs> thank you, Julie G. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I said, well, Julie sent me these mini comp books. So I'm going to work in my small journals today. So, yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bust these open. So thank you, Julie. Hi, Tina. Tina's saying good morning to everybody there. <laughs> uh Pete's show looked good last night. I haven't watched it. Well, I say take that back. I watched three minutes of it, Tina. <laughs> I got to go watch the rest of it. Look good. Okay, so it's a three pack. <clears throat> there's 80 pages each. So there's a blue, a black, and a green. They have a little bit different cover, but they're essentially the same thing. And uh, so this is how thick they'll get once you start working in them. Look. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So we're going to work. Uh, I thought maybe I'm going to try to fill one. I think I'll use the black one. We're going to try to fill one uh, today with uh, at least with collage stuff. And then go in because I do have some tiny stuff up here. Hang on. Let me get up here. Um, I got some little things here. Some little bits. Plus, I'll just grab a bag of collage. Let me just grab a bag of collage fodder. So I don't know what all's in which bag. So I just grabbed one and we'll work out of that. And then uh, I got a new Somerset Studio. So I got this. And what else? Hi, Lena. Good to see you. Lena did a video over the weekend. Again, have not watched it yet, but I saw that she did one. And Lena's videos are always good, guys. So if you follow Miss Linux 2010, you will not be disappointed. <laughs> You'll not be disappointed if you follow Lena. Hi, Mama 4, Diana. Let's see. I said hi. Let's see. Nana Mo, Kimberly 557. Who else am I missing? Uh, let's see. I'm probably missing R. R. <laughs> Good morning, R. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, thanks, everybody, for being here. If uh, There's Julie. There's Julie stepping in with the mod boots. <laughs> I should start calling her. Um, what was, what's, uh, what's these boots are made for walking? What's Frank Sinatra's daughter? What's her name? Frank Sinatra's daughter. What was her name? Something Sinatra. <laughs> These boots are made for walking. Oh, I can't think of her first name right off. Um, that's what we need to start calling uh, Julie. <laughs> Julie Topaz. Uh, is it? Is it Tina? Is it Tina? Well, I can't call her Tina. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy Sinatra. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Fritchie. Nancy Sinatra. Yeah. No, Nancy, I think Nancy's, I think Nancy was his Nancy Sinatra. <clears throat> yeah, these boots are made for walking, Nancy Sinatra. Yeah, everybody's saying that. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Amira. Good morning, Amira from Idaho. Uh, let's see. What else? Try to say good morning to everybody. Charlotte. So I come on at 8:30 so I can say good morning to everybody. And then uh, we're gonna we're gonna work in the small journals. Uh, I'll start, I'm gonna start a new one, one of the new ones from uh, from Julie. Thank you so much, Julie. 
Julie G. So I'm gonna keep. I'll, I'm gonna put this in the Fibs book on a Julie G. page. Hi, CNP, cat and paste. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Tina put in a link for Nancy Sinatra, these boots. So there's probably a video on it. <laughs> yeah, Julie's got the mod boots. <laughs> let's see. Let me go over to Instagram. I think we had a couple things from uh, Society of Idea Collectors. Let's see. Uh, I'll figure out something else on Wednesday for the next week. Oh, uh, let's see. So we got um, Devin Rex. She did a um, reverse collage. And if y'all want to see these better, you'll have to go over, go to hashtag Society of Idea Collectors, all one word. So Devin did this one. And let's see. This one is from Abigail. And she did... Um, an insect. She, I guess she saw an insect draw a challenge insect. I'm not sure what from, but anyway, it she posted it on in the Society of Idea Collectors. So there we go. So Abigail did this. Hi, Brandy. Who else? Let's see. Uh, I'll, I'm sure I'm missing people. I'm not trying to. And then Linda Rins did a analysis of forgiveness so she has some she has a writing over there i haven't read it yet i'm just now looking these up and uh, leona did a sketched over to distress piece of poster board well anyway go look at the whole description but um leona did one i'm not sure what weeks y'all are post if y'all don't put a week to reference which which uh, idea week which which weekly idea it is and i don't know if you don't say so but there's some really good ones over there so make sure and go over to the hashtag society of idea collectors and write down um you know any ideas you come up with and uh i have a uh, playlist society of idea collectors playlist but that doesn't mean that that video when i hashtag something i mean when i uh, put something in the playlist that doesn't necessarily mean that whole show is on that topic so for instance society of idea collectors we, we might have talked for 20 30 40 and maybe an hour out of the three hours, we would have talked about Society of Idea Collectors in that video. But it doesn't mean the whole video is on that topic. Okay, that's true of, you know, pretty much, well, not all of them, but like color book and, you know, art journaling, collage, uh, you know, abandoned books, you know, things like that. They're pretty much going to be the scope of the show. But we talk about so many things in each show because the shows are long. They're three hours. Uh, let's see. Oh, you're going to turn your canvas boards into sketch a sketchbook. That's that's awesome. Like the covers. How are you going to are you how are you going to bind it? Are you going to have a hard spine and then have it tied in or what? How are you going to do? Um, how are you going to turn it into a sketchbook at, at Ameris? Um, let's see. <clears throat> I'm reading. Let's see. I'm trying to make sure I say good morning. I said hi to Rachel. Rachel, it might be a little early for her to be comedic, uh, but she's she's pretty funny, Rachel is. Usually by the time she gets over to Janet's show, <laughs> she's warmed up for the day. and She's uh, on a roll by the time she gets over to Janet's at one. <laughs> Rachel can be funny. She, she can be snarky like Janet, so... You know, those two, those two are really, they're fun. They're snark, snark fun. <laughs> so, yeah, so I think I'll, I'll uh, I'm going to try to fill one of these. I'm not just, when I work in these, I just usually just use a glue stick. You know, I just usually glue things in with the glue stick. This is, this is more for fun. These are not, these pages, these journals, they're not going to be varnished and, you know, they're just, they're just a play. I'll do a little flip of these because I just pulled these out. I mean, y'all have seen them a bunch of times, but I'll do another flip through uh, quickly for those. Um, Let's see. Hi, Fernando. Good to see you. Always good to see Fernando. 
And uh, thanks for stopping in. Fernando's in Brazil. Um, let's see who else. Um, if I'm missing you, I didn't mean to. <clears throat> And that's why, yeah, I know. We all do, Barb. We all do. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I know. She is. Uh, and when those two start snarking on each other, it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. So just saying. Um, <laughs> let's see. Did I say hi to you, Jeanette? Good morning, Lynn. I said, I know I said hi to Mama Four. <coughs> Let's see. A snark week. Yeah. <laughs> Good one, Kat. <laughs> snark week. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> or snark, snark NATO. What about snark NATO? Hi, Linda. <laughs> Maseki. Oh my gosh. What about snark snarknado? <laughs> uh -oh, thanks, Tina. Thank you, Tina. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see. Vanessa. Um <clears throat> get another sip of juice here. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Who needs shark when you have a snark? <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. So let me, um, I'll, I'll show you the, the journals that I pulled. I pulled, uh, I got two here. What, this one's fuller than this one, but these are my Arteza, Arteza. I'm not sure how you say it. Doesn't matter to me how you say it. <laughs> I have two of these that I'm working in. This one's fuller than this one. This one has more just starter pages in it. This one has more on the way to being done pages. <laughs> and then this is also a smaller Teza one. And uh, so these are the three smallest, well, I say smallest, the smallest other than these uh, comp book ones that um, that I work in. And I haven't worked in these two for a while because they're some years old and they are starting to kind of fall apart a little bit. So um, Julie G sent me three new ones. So we're going to work on one of these today. And what I'm going to start is by just showing you how I'm going to just pick some random collage fodder and start gluing them in. And uh, that's the first stage. So the next stage is then you start adding scribbles or doodles or painting, and then you can add the details to make a, a finished page. I, you know, these are more fun for me. I'm not really trying to make some, you know, great work of art or anything. Let me go ahead and zoom in one. Um, you know, when I'm trying to really build a world or do something more complete, I work in my um, abandoned books, my abandoned places, castles, uh, you know, my abandon to alter the books. I, that's, you know, or make a big poster. And I showed those a, probably about a week ago, some of my big posters. And uh, so I work on, on those if I want to make, like build a whole world or something. These are just more for just playing in. They don't, you know, don't have to mean a lot of, not, a lot of stuff or, you know, and I, I get people say, well, you know, I don't feel like it has a purpose. Well, you know, if you're making something pretty, you're enjoying it you're having fun, you know, then it doesn't have to have some big purpose, you know, <laughs> just, just have some fun and, and play and paint and color, you know, it's all creative and, and you're, you know, having, having fun with it. So yeah, you're like, <laughs> Oh, Barb. <laughs> Let's see. Did I say hi to Vanessa? Uh, snurk, snurk a cane? Snurk a cane? <laughs> you guys, don't latch onto something and really make it funny. Okay, so let me start first with, um, let me start with this one that's got more completed in it. We'll just do a little flip while I'm talking. And... Uh, <laughs> So I'm just going to flip through. And again, these, these, uh, these are nice, heavy paper journals. They're really good, heavy cardstock, 
kind of like the uh, Diane uh, Reevely, uh, uh, what do you call it? Oh, what are those called? Those, the, you know, the journals that are have the brown cover. I'd show you one, but I've, I've uh, painted all my covers, so I don't have one that's unpainted. But Dilutions, the Dilutions journals are real thick paper in these. And uh, but there's different ones. There's I think there's watercolor. There's mixed media. Hi, Dawn. Anybody else popping in? And uh, so I'm just going to let me kind of prop this up here so I can flip it while we're talking. And they're all in different stages, but they start with just gluing down collage fodder. Okay, they start with just gluing down collage fodder. Then I'll go in and and add paint. You can see if it's not blended in. See where it's just, it's not, hasn't been blended in yet to the background like that, then it's not finished. So, um, well, not the Dynalog, not that one. I'm talking about the big one, Julie, the big, di the, the big dilutions journals, the ones that I make art journals out of. Well, here, I'll, I'll drag, I can't show you the covers. I've painted all the covers, but I'll show you what, um, mm -hmm. The size is these, these sizes, <clears throat> these dilutions ones that have the, the envelope on the inside. But see, I've painted all mine the inside, the outside, the back, but they're that craft color. The craft color um, journals, they have good thick paper. <clears throat> well, so do these. And I like the square, I like the little squares. These are like, I think about an eight by eight. And uh, so let's see, got a little flash to help there. Let's bring down the, let's bring down the brightness just a tad. There we go. <clears throat> so hi, Carla. Good morning. So it, if I add a sticker or something like this as a sticker, I will paint that out. If I don't cut it out before I glue it down, this will be painted out. I don't really care for why. I don't mind a white border around like a photo like this. Is one of I think one of Tim Holtz's little people photo, you know, the photo booth photos. But this will get painted out. But I I try to use a cut like color uh, a color theme to make the pages cohesive. And uh, so if you look through as I'm going through, you obviously can see the color color. Um, combinations you know like lime and teal and purple and red you know blue you know so um <clears throat> but they're all these are all in different stages and this is um like the water water-based uh i think some of them might be woody's some of them might be uh jane davenport's uh what do you call it let's see how wet they jane davenport's um slick sticks or what i'm not sure what they're called her her uh water-based crayon things so you can see it'll start moving or i could put gesso and paint and just you know whatever so yeah <clears throat> and they're and and they're just fun i just like playing on these pages I don't plan it as often probably as i'd like to because i do i have i have a lot of other projects going but it's always I've always got them just to pick one up if I just feel like throwing some paint down. Plus, y'all know I also have um let's see here. Let's see. I also have multiple traveler inserts that I play in. And these are kind of the same kind of thing. There's just all different kinds of collage fodder. And uh, then I just paint them and play in them. And uh, here's one that's a little further along. So you can do them in any kind of journal. The TNs. Um, you know, I've got a bunch of those on the go. As you can see here. And then. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah. So, and just pick one up whenever I feel like throwing down some paint. Or like today, we're going to start a new one. <laughs> so, yeah. 
So I'm just kind of flip through so you can kind of get it so you can see mostly look at the look at the colors. You know, look out look how the colors make things come together. Color combinations can make things cohesive. Then here's where I painted in one of my little lemurs. Y'all know I love me some lemurs. So you can paint your own paintings on top of anything. You can draw or paint or color, cut out, you know, color book images and put those in your journals. You can just do so much. You can just do so many different things, you know. <clears throat> So, yeah. What is it, Malibu? I hear him meowing. So there's this one. And then the same thing as this. This one just hasn't gone as far with a lot of paint. It's just got more. Um, it's got a little bit of painting at the beginning here. Like this one I'm pretty much thinking is done. But um, you can take it to this level if you want. You know, and you can varnish them if you want, you know. So, you see, just the color, the color makes it cohesive. What is a baby girl? I see you down there at my feet. So, <clears throat> what is it? You want to come up here and say good morning? Come on, come on. You want to come up here? So, you can see these are just kind of tacked down. I haven't even really finished gluing them down. I just kind of tacked them down. And I can go back either with matte medium or with just a glue stick if that's all I want to do and continue these. So this is before I've added paint to most of them. Okay. But this is how they start. And we're going to do the same thing in the little one here today. We're going to just set. It's just going to be smaller. Danny, I see you. Hi, baby, you're closing the book. All right. We'll say hi to you. We'll pet you for a minute. All right. Okay. All right. Move, move the butt. There we go. So, <laughs> so you can see they're just in different stages. And I uh, haven't even really been really all the way glued down. I just kind of tacked them down. So, like, you know, my glue books start like this and then they end up like this. So... <laughs> I see you. I'm not ignoring you. You get plenty of love. Don't walk on the keyboard. Don't go on the courts. Okay, let's go that way. <laughs> yeah, cloud cover. Exactly. The cloud. One of the clouds. <laughs> see <you. laughs> Don't fall off, baby girl. All right. <clears throat> I know they don't. And I just a purring, just a purring. I know, I know. Just want some love. Give her some love. <laughs> I know, right, Tina? Stretch, 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 stretch. Okay, my mama turned the page. All right, there you go, there you go. No, can't go over there. All right, so. <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> baby. Oh, I know. Just a purr. You just want some attention. Hang on, guys. You know, sometimes we have a rabbit trail, sometimes we have a cat tail. <laughs> All right, can I can I have the book? All right, how about if we just go to the little one? We'll just go to the little book. <laughs> oh, thanks, Amaris, for the super super sticker. Oh, there we go. Thank you so much for the super sticker. Thank you so much. <laughs> I know, right, Carla? Thank you, Amaris. I'm not sure if it's Amaris or Amaris, but thank you so much. <laughs> I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the book on top of her, and let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can do a flip while it's on her. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, she does. She likes the books. All right. So this is a small one. We did a little stenciling here, some doodles. 
Are you ready to move along now? Am I am I starting to annoy you? Uh -huh. <clears throat> Here's some stencils on this one. Some doodles. Stencils on this one. Oh, that's okay, Don. Yeah. Well, the other one looks just like her. The only he's just a little bit bigger and has a little bit different markings on the forehead. But oh, thank you, Fernando. Thank you so much for the super sticker. <coughs> Fernando's down in Brazil. I did mail him um, some happy mail, and he did get it. So I was happy to hear. And it didn't take that long, really, only about a week, right, Fernando? Maybe a week and a half. And you got some happy mail down there in uh, Brazil. So thank you so much for the super sticker. I appreciate the channel support, guys. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> you have to play every game on your phone, Tina. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so here I did some little people in a little landscape. So this is just paint here. Just paint it in. All right. Now you're getting my little, the little straps. All right. Let's see. <laughs> I'm going to move her in a minute so I can start painting and stuff, start gluing. <clears throat> so you see how I just add just different things? You know, if there's a sticker, I'll end up painting that out. Now see how some is shiny? <coughs> so some of it could be um, um, like a magazine image that's shiny unless you matte medium over the whole thing you're going to have some shiny some dull paint parts so if you like to have your pages all cohesive like all matte or all shiny then you have to do like i i show in the uh, art journals i glue everything down with golden matte medium and then after it's done i varnish it but these are not really these are just to play in so I'm not real too particular about there's a shiny napkin piece right there. So just some different, you know, just whatever. But you can pick, you know, if you pick two or three colors, you can, you can make your pages cohesive with color, regardless of the theme that you put on there. like this one okay and then there's some pen and marker test on the back there. and they come with these little pouches in these arteza books and then they have a strap that you can close it so let's go ahead and finish this one now that malibu's gonna let me is that little journal also yes it is jeanette this one is an arteza too or arteza however you say it yeah it is okay so let's finish flipping in this one this one again doesn't have as much uh, doesn't have as much paint in it. It's just start like you know I just started doing some collage in it here, and then I paint in a world. That's that's how I kind of roll with it. So you, I, it's so easy for me to see the world that I can build in this. And again, they're not glued down. They're just tacked down. So, you're welcome. You're welcome. We worked on this one one day on stream. Have a little door here. A little Catherine Anderson uh, collage door. Catherine Anderson has, and it's Catherine with a C. Catherine Anderson uh, has awesome collage books for you to use. You can get them on Amazon. This door, this little door is one of hers. This uh, this one is out of that pink uh, everything collage book. This uh, octopus. And then I, I just drew in, I drew in the leg there. It's coming after her, see, wrapped around her. I got the octopus <laughs> wrapping, wrapping around her, so... And uh, well, it does take it, it does take some practice, but you know when you do hundreds of them, Julia, hundreds, <laughs> you get better at it. You know, so yeah, 
so this is just <clears throat> you know this one just start this one's kind of newer started not as much done but let me go back to the one i pulled here just so you can see a bigger this is the same kind of thing just bigger and these are a little you know these are varnished so um, I've done these more complicated world building, but then after I finish them, you can see when they're done, they're varnished. So if it's varnished, it's done because you really can't go back and work over it once you've varnished. This one's not varnished yet, but you know, we did this one on stream one day. Somebody asked about do, making one of these. So I just, you know, pulled this book out to use. So again, here's some that are just started. This book doesn't have as many as I've got four of these books that I work in. So again, here's one that's finished. Well, it's not varnished, but this was finished. We did this one last year. And uh, so you can see you can get it more painterly and complex and like a, you can build a whole world with it and paint all kinds of cool things in it. You know, if you want to take the time to do it. But most of my little ones like this, this, these right here are ones that I just use to throw in leftover paint or leftover collage bits in there. Um, so, yeah, let's see if I got some more finished ones. There's this one. This one's been varnished. So you can see. If you have any questions, if you have any questions, put it in, uh, put it in caps. So I know you're talking to me. I won't think you're yelling. Let's see. Do I have another one here? It's another one. That's varnished. <clears throat> so this is the Dilusions one. And you can see it's like, it's probably about a 110 weight cardstock, maybe a little more. Real heavy cardstock. And those Arteza ones are as well. But you can just use cardstock. You don't even have to have a journal. Again, you can use your traveler's notebook size, the little TN size. These I've played with. Uh, this one had this cover on. This was the Dilusions. That's the way the cover came. Um, these three I added paper. And, and so it's the same thing. You can just, you know, glue and paint. Hi, Terry Lynn. Glue and paint. So there's that size. Um, and I do, I want to show you the new Somerset. And, uh, yeah, I did pull some collage fodder to play with. So these little books, I've had these for some years. And, again, it's just like if I have some little bits of something left over, I'll just stick it in here. And then sometimes I'll go back and add some more paint or you know, turn, you know, develop them a little more sometimes. I don't, I don't play in these because they are starting to fall apart. Look, see, I had to, um, they lasted for a good many years without anything happening to them. But then if they start to fall apart, I just put some tape. <laughs> I just put some tape and keep rolling, you know, they're just fun to, you know, cause it's no stress. See, this is where it came apart right there. Um, you know, don't, don't stress. If you're playing in these little books like this, then just, uh, then just play because this is where your imagination, you get ideas. And then if you get ideas, you can write the ideas down in your society of idea collector notebook, or, you know, even in, even in another blank page in here, you know, just write down, like, I like these colors. I like this combination. I liked adding the checkerboard, you know, this is all, this is all just acrylic paint. It's just, it's just, um, you know, craft paint. I like the Americana deco art because I like the colors that they have, but you know, just craft paint. That's what all it is. And the reason, another reason I like craft paint is because now I, I always say this just to make sure everybody gets it. Matte, matte craft paint, not, not gloss. Uh, not satin, not metallic. Now you can use metallic paints and things, but the reason I like the matte uh, craft paint is because color pencil will go over that. So you can use your color pencil over the top. Whereas if it's shiny, like you see how the magazine image is shiny right there? Um, a, um, pencil is not going to go over that. If you want pencil to go over it, you're going to have to put matte medium on it or clear gesso or something. But because pencil's not going to go on shiny, right? 
So, yeah, let's see. I don't know if I have anything else kind of finished in here. I think it's just bits of uh, glued down stuff. Same thing for this one. Trying to keep it without flashing it out here. <clears throat> so after you um, after you just glue down some things like you find a page or just something just go like this, okay? So after you just glue something down like this, then you can take either a brush or your palette knife, <clears throat> scrape in paint, paint it in, rub it in with your fingers, use a baby wipe to smooth it in, and then you know then you can add other things, clouds, stars, whatever you want, you know. But again, see it shiny. That's because that's the image from the magazine or calendar or wherever I got it is shiny. So if you don't like the way that looks, you're going to have to either matte medium over the whole thing to make it the whole thing matte. Or when you're done, put a coat of gloss varnish over it to keep it all glossy. But these are just plain in, so I don't really do that in these. So <clears throat> there's some gold paint added on top. <clears throat> So I just thought it'd be kind of fun to work in uh, the, these little ones because uh, uh, Julie G sent me sent me three of them. Here's another one. This is all paint. There's a little bit of collage back here and then some paint. Hi, Molly. <clears throat> Put a little city in the background there. Added those numbers, little stickers little stickers so so you see how it's kind of messy and it's not blended and smooth well this is <clears throat> I probably started with just scraping in some paint leftover paint so if you keep and I I have a whole bunch of well I'll drag one down uh, desk journals and I know I show them all the time and you know you all see them but I've got, I don't know how many of these. I used to do one a year, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I don't know, seven, eight of these. Um, but they're the leather ones that you that are from, the leather's from um, Italy. These are Italian leather books that you get at Barnes and Noble. They're for like $40, $50 each. I don't really use them anymore, but I would buy one a year. And this one was from, this one's from 2011. This one's from 2011. And it's the same thing. So what I would do is I would leave these on my desk. I'd leave it on the desk. And when there was leftover stuff, I'd glue down the leftovers and paint. Same thing. Then I would paint in. And uh, so I, I, I used to keep one of these on my desk for a year. And uh, just a desk journal. Well, you can do the same thing with little ones like this. So... Or get you one of the Arteza ones or just a comp book. Like these are the new composition books that they've had this year at School Supply. I got them at Walmart. They're the pen and gear. Um, and so I didn't see these this year. And so Julie G sent me a pack of three of the little ones. So just to show you again how they get chunky when you use them. So we're going we're gonna to do one of these today. <clears throat> so yeah, you just can and when I flip back through them, it gives me inspiration for myself, remembering, oh, I like that color combination, or I like the way you painted that in, or I like the way that wall, you know, looks crusty, or you know, it, it inspires me to go back and look at them as well. I think I told y'all one time, I was looking at, you know, on, when you're watching YouTube videos, there's a sidebar of recommendations over there. And I saw this one on the cycle. Oh, look at that art journal video. I've got to go watch that. It was mine. Oh, my gosh. So, <laughs> uh, you got to remember, I have over a thousand videos. So, um <laughs> And uh, so I don't remember them all. <laughs> okay, okay, Bacola, get your tea. So, but it was kind of funny. <laughs> Let's see, Catherine G. 
So see, you just can play. And then you can go back like here, did this little landscape. Well, then after you do a little landscape and you, you like, you know, we all have stickers, you know, let me get the, uh, let's get the antiquarian one. You know, the little stickers and books. <laughs> so you can take, you know, you can add all kinds of things to it. Like, let's just take this one, for instance. And let's go ahead. And again, I don't feel like painting them out right now. So I'll just go ahead and uh, cut. Scissors over here. I'll just go ahead and cut the white edge off. So, you know, so after you've painted or added uh, some collage fodder, you know, go in and, and throw in something clever or funny or cute or, you know, snarky, you know. So, yeah. I'm just going to cut this edge off this sticker. Again, if you're at the painting stage of, of doing it, then you could just you know, glue them in. And I recommend not trusting the glue on the back of the stickers. I would recommend using, you know, some uh, tacky glue or something to make sure that the stickers are stuck in. I don't trust, um, I don't trust sticker glue. Plus if you're putting it over acrylic paint, even more so that it, the chances of it not sticking as well as you would probably like your stuff to stick. So just put a little bit of tacky glue on it to make sure. So let me just finish cutting him out here. But it's it's just nice if you have something on your desk, your workspace, um, your table, whatever. Uh, if you have something on there to keep handy to uh, throw leftover paint and... Um, and uh, collage in. Oh, thank you, Ashley, for the super sticker. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I like tacky glue too, Nana. Aw, thanks, Ashley. <laughs> thanks so much. And uh, Ashley Colors has a YouTube channel. I'm behind on watching hers as well. I'm behind on watching a lot of videos because I've been busy this summer. But, um, yeah, so, but go watch Ashley. Let me click on her name again so you can see her. There you go. So Ashley Colors. All right, so let me go ahead and put a little bit of tacky glue on the back here. Okay, just put a little bit on there, put the lid back. And I keep, I keep my uh, glue standing on end so it's always ready. And then just smear that glue around a little. Okay. <clears throat> see, where do I like it? Like it here. I think I kind of like them here. Just stick them down there. There we go. So you see, you can add all kinds of fun things. Maybe this, you could turn this into a mailbox. It looks like some kind of mailman or something. You know, a little rabbit <laughs> mailman. Put a little mailbox over here. You just saw, you know, anything. Uh, keep something on your work desk. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what I mean, Rachel. Some place, a place to put this kind of stuff, right? <laughs> uh, so, anyway, same thing. This one would make a good scene to put something in. So, and they're all just at different stages. And it doesn't fall. Some people can't do this kind of thing. They can't just skip around from book to book, from page to page, leaving something like this for years at a time, <laughs> and then maybe come back to it or maybe not, and just not have it bother you if you don't come back to it. You know, and I understand that not everybody can do that. Some people have to be start at the beginning of a sketchbook or art journal and go front to back and can't skip any pages. Can't, you know, <laughs> um, I can't, I can't do it that way because I have so many different journals and, and sketchbooks and things that I like that I can't, uh, I can't just work in one until it's done, you know? <clears throat> So, yeah, then I, last week I worked in uh, the new little composition books. 
that uh, came out this year, the half books. And uh, you have to finish when I start. Yeah, see, not me. <laughs> I got too many ideas that I got to get down. If I finished every page from start to finish before I moved on to the next one, my mind would be so full. <laughs> oh, thanks, Julie G. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super sticker. Thanks so much. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I couldn't do it, Nanamo. Don't make me. <laughs> thanks so much. Thanks, Tina. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the one that we did a couple of pages in a week, I think a week before last. And um, so I'm, let's see, Melinda, I'm, I'm probably missing people coming in. Good morning, Melinda. I'll probably get to stay for the whole show. Oh, good, good. Okay, good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. So these are the new ones that Walmart was selling, and they come 10 in a pack, 10 of these in a pack for five bucks. Now, are they still there now? You know, these are the kind of things that you get when school supplies are first put out. I never see these at any other time during the year. These, I don't know, because they just came out. But I only catch these things uh, right at um, when school supplies are first put out. Oh, thank you so much, Julie. Aw, thanks so much. Yeah, Julie sent me these little, the little one, new ones. So we're going to fill one of these up today. Well, at least with the collage. I don't know how far we'll get after that, but we're going to collage, put collage on something on every page. So I have some little tiny pieces here, and then I pulled a pack here. So we got plenty of collage fodder to um, fill, at least fill one of these. Let's see. Um, because none of this. Um, you don't have, did you, you mean at your Walmart, Ashley? You don't have them at your Walmart? <clears throat> yeah, so composition book. I put my name, painted, put a planet in there. And I've only done a couple pages, well, five pages, maybe four or five. So, and uh, they're just, you know, more, uh, uh, they're just better for uh, like landscapes. Oh my gosh, Ashley. You could have you tried the I think uh Devin, maybe it was De somebody bought them online. I forget who go on Walmart online Walmart Ashley and see if they um they have them in this if they have them on the online store. Somebody bought them online. I can't remember who now, but uh, they did get them online. So we did this one on the stream a couple weeks ago. So this one, I think it was week before last we did this. This one I think I just did off, off camera. And this one. So, and it's just paint. And they, they do flatten out. They can get a little, you know, they might curl a little on the ends. This one I actually got accidentally folded over. But they might, but they, they really lay flat. Look. You know, they have a little tiny bit of a wave to them, but they're, you know, they just, uh, they, they're they flat. They, they get bulky, but they stay flat. It's even as thin as this paper is. This is copy paper thin. Copy paper, thin, maybe even thinner than copy paper. But when you add collage and paint and everything else on top of it, um, then it, they, they, they really do flatten out. So, yeah, there's a bit, we did this on camera, on stream, and this one on stream. And I might have thrown paint down on a couple of these other ones. I don't remember. So, so anyway. All right, so before we get started and gluing in one of these, and I will zoom in, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you the new Somerset Studio magazine a little bit. Let's go ahead and zoom in one on this. And uh, so this is the new one. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Thank you so much. Just, uh, you know, uh, a lot of a lot of world building. <laughs> a lot of world building. Uh, I'm not, you know, I know I've shown you all my shelves of full, full of art journals and 
you know, I've got shelves full of art journals and sketchbooks. And so just, you know, and plus I've been doing this going, it'll be 11 years that I've been streaming 11 years in November. Um, I used to stream three days a week for three hours. You know, I'm, I'm down to two, two days a week, Monday and Wednesday, about three hours each, you know, sometimes between three and four hours. So, um, you know, we get, we get a lot done. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I don't excuse me, despise my Walmart is fairly well stocked. Oh well, good, Julie. Uh, ours does have the you know good stuff like the, now they didn't have this this year. They didn't have these this year, but um, they you know d just depends on if I catch it right when they start putting things out. You know, this year I think I was I was so maybe a week behind because school here starts early, and of course now I don't even know what the schedule is now. They may have even bumped it up year round for all I know because I don't have kids little kids in school, so I don't really keep up with the uh, school system schedules. But if you catch them when they first um, they first put them out, you're you're more likely to find things. Um, I never glue two pages together, Darlene, because I find that wrinkles the paper. You have to work. You really have to work at making sure everything's nice and smooth when you glue. I just found that one page, if you, you know, by the time you get collage and paint and everything on there, they might be a little wrinkly till you completely paint them out, but not too much. I just, I've never glued the pages together. Um, and you, the other thing you can do with comp books, and I can't, if somebody can think of her name, that's, that started doing altered composition books like 20, I don't know, 15 at least years ago. I can't remember her name. I know somebody here remember where you would crumple them up, ink them, you know, just really distress the whole book and make it nice and fluffy before you even got started on decorating the pages. What was her name? Somebody help me out here. I hate not being able to tell somebody's name. I mean, I'm talking 15 years ago at the at least. And I think she was the first person I ever saw on YouTube that did composition, just, you know, distressing all the pages. And um, like, let me do one page in here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. She would, because I got some the Crayola test markers back here. Um, but she would... Um, I know somebody's going to remember her name, but she would take, she, you'd go through the whole book, your the big comp, the regular size composition books, right? And she, she'd do this through the whole book, okay? No, no, no. Uh, ta Tangie Baxter. Thank you. Another little piece of my heart. Tangie Baxter. And you'd go through and you'd crumple all your pages like this, right? So just to start and flatten them out. And I'm just going to grab whatever ink pad I have here. <clears throat> and then you would go through and you would, then you would ink every page. Different colors. You would do different colors of ink, right? You know, every page might have a different color. And so this is how it would start. Okay. So you'd go through your whole composition book. Okay. You'd go through your whole composition book. And do this to every page. And by the time you're done, your book is nice and fluffy and wrinkled on purpose, right? It's all wrinkled on purpose. <laughs> and um, the fluffiest one I ever got to was my um, Fibs book, my first Fibs book. And uh, I did a little bit of scrunching on it, but this was my first Fibs book. This is a composition book just covered with uh, scrapbook paper. And this was a uh, hundred of the fibs, friends in the box. And we had a page for everybody, a page made for everybody. And I'd have little pockets to keep their uh, happy mail and their favorite colors and, and everything in it. So this was the first hundred fibs book. And uh, I made a tab for everybody's name. So you see, so it was, uh, this was a fluff, this was Fluffette. I named her Fluffette. So, okay. So you can do that. You can do that with a little book. 
or this size book and maybe i'll do one like the whole book like that sometime just to show you <laughs> just to show you so you can start like this so you're less intimidated by a page then you can start gluing and painting and doing other things in it too hi herbie okay so now let's go back to oops let's see oh i already dar that you're already dar here we put that back in the book all right. <clears throat> so let's go back to the Somerset studio. Take a sip of juice. <sighs> okay, Riri. <laughs> so I'm not obviously not going to show you the whole magazine, but I'll do a little bit of uh, flipping through it. And uh, so this is the newest one. It is um, the... August, September, October one. Okay. So the next one will come out probably toward the end of October. Plus, you know, there's the art journaling one. Art. Those are the only two I really buy from uh, Stampington, the Somerset Studio or the art journal one. But they have multiple different uh, publications. Here's some of them. These are some of the publications that they have. They have clothing, mingle, uh, this is, I think, a kind of a home and garden one, art quilting, willow and sage, a jewelry, and, of course, there's the art journaling one. They used to have tons more. They used to have tons more magazines, but, you know, um, everybody started cutting back on magazines, especially after the virus, you know. So, hi, Afro Sensible Sister. How you doing? Good to see you. Hi, K&RP. Kim, yeah, fluffy, yeah, <laughs> thank you. So, this one has a nature section, and um, the articles are always good. I always like to read how people come up, you know, with ideas and create whether or not I love the art in and of itself or their technique. I still like reading about um, how they, you know came up with stuff plus both magazines the art journaling one and the somerset always have cardstock um pieces of paper in them for you to cut out tear out and and use some botanicals spotlight on botanicals and uh, alex castro ferrera and um this was the artist profile so all kinds of like distressed uh a junk journal type book so anyway let's see let's just kind of do a little flip here look at the little cat doll these are kind of cute here and then here's some more papers some more papers and this person has an article in this book here Somewhere here, I'll flip to it. Cultivating creativity. So, you know, whether you even like every piece of art you see in the in the magazines, you know, you're still going to get inspired by their stories. Found object, paintbrushes. Um, so just different ways to make marks and make your, you know, reusing your paintbrushes. Uh, but more botanicals and then here's the lynn perella article she's like one of the editors i believe and uh, using old lace some more some more papers cardstock type papers and then where's that one here this one uh mary lou marshall and I did go follow her on Instagram because I thought this was kind of cool. And um, so kind of paint, inking, collaging, doodling. So really like that look. And again, one of those papers was made by her. So, yeah. So there's an article like that. And then there's all kinds of blank. They put blank pages and little places for you to test things out lately, the last few years. And then toward the back, there's two more papers here, this one and this one. So you have lots of, I think, eight, six, eight pages of papers that you can use. And then the back has 
more um, just little smaller spotlights. So yeah, that was uh, the newest one here. <laughs> Riri. Okay, Riri. <laughs> so that's the newest Somerset Studio magazine. All right. So let's see. Let's go ahead and grab this. Uh, I, I keep my board here so I can lift it. I can move it. And uh, so it's just covered with that vinyl wallpaper. You can buy this online. It's not expensive at all. I sent some to Mary and a couple of people uh, to put on their art journals and stuff. And what I like about it, and now once you let it dry, you're, you could probably scrape it off. But once you let it dry, but while it, while you're using it, if you get paint on here, you can wipe it wipe it clean with the baby wipe. So um, I really like having, and I just put it on a piece of foam board. You know, you can get the foam board at Michaels or a lot of places. Okay, um, so. I am going to go ahead and start gluing things in this little one. I'm going to zoom in one. I don't want to zoom in too much because it'll start to pixelate. If I get any closer than this, it starts to get a little fuzzy. And uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll stay about right here, I think. Um, and uh, again, if you're watching the chat, make sure you uh, check uh, live chat. Because uh, the chat window defaults to top chat. You won't see all the chat. So if you want to see it all, you have to click on live chat. Also, if it goes fuzzy, not right now. It's a little fuzzy because I'm so zoomed in. But if it goes fuzzy, make sure that you are checking that it is at 720 or 1080p. And the little, there's a little wheel there, a little setting wheel. Because sometimes... Um, YouTube will kind of knock back to 144 and it gets real fuzzy or something. So make sure that your setting is at 720 or 1080p because I am streaming on StreamYard at 1080p. Okay, so let's see. Wendy, who else? Uh, I'm probably missing Devin. Yeah, I showed your uh, Instagram this morning, Devin. And Devin also has a new video up. Um. So, yeah, make sure y'all go over to society, hashtag Society of Idea Collectors and, uh, you know, go see what the ideas people are coming with, coming up with based on our weekly ideas and whatever else they want to post. Hi, Bonnie. Good to see you. How you doing, Bonnie? So, um, yeah, good to see you. Mine was at four. <laughs> Thought you hadn't had your coffee yet, Janet? Yeah. So you got to you gotta make sure because that happens. It does happen quite often. I don't know what causes it in every situation, but you do want to make sure that uh, your settings are at least at 720 or 1080p. All right. Let's see. This looks a little dark. We'll just brighten it right back up just a tad there. And sometimes when you stick your hand up there, it kind of readjusts the lighting. All right, so what I'm going to do is um, go through, uh, first of all, I have these little, I, and these are what I use um, to make art cards. I haven't made any art cards in a while. Let's see if I have any handy right up here. Let's see. I haven't made any for a while, but if you make, you can make artist trading cards and art cards. Uh, I make them at three by four. ATCs are two and a half by three and a half. I make my cards at three by four anymore. Um, but, you know, either way. So you can make uh, art cards, little pieces of calendars, um, just whatever, little pieces of stuff. So I'm going to use some of this. And then I have some larger pieces here. I'll just pull some stuff out. And uh, we'll just kind of go through and, you know, like something like this, this, this would be a good texture to add. And also the other tip I give you when you uh, collage <clears throat> is if you have torn edges, if you have torn edges that will um, blend better with paint than if you cut it. Now, if you want something like, you know, where I cut out that little sticker a little while ago, it's going to be on top. It's going to be the focal point. It's going to be in the forefront. Then, you know, it's going to lay on top. Then you can fussy cut that. But if you're going to do a background and you're going to paint, let's put down a background here. Let me get a piece of something. Because there's so much going on. 
just give a little something here. There we go. Um, so look, how's it looking? Do I need, I don't know, maybe, I guess it's just because the book is so little. Otherwise, I wouldn't be this zoomed in. So I'm going to leave a couple pages at the front to sign and whatever. Okay, so I think that'll be work. Uh, that'll be work. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you can start by thinking of maybe a landscape, um, you know. So when you have images in magazines and you've got things like these textures and stuff, you know, think of it as other things. When you're cut, cutting out, collecting collage fodder, you know, and using it, um, you know, turn it upside down, right side up. You know, you don't have to just because, oh, this is a mountain going this way. There's nothing saying that you can't, you know, just tear this off and make it, you know, something else. So you, you can do so many things with collage fodder. You don't have to, you don't have to go with just what you think it should look like. Cut things in half. Hi, Jane. And again, I'm just going to go with a glue stick today. Um, and, uh, but if you want it to be more permanent, if you're going to want to varnish, if you're going to want to do more, more, then I would probably recommend using a uh, golden matte medium, but this is just my little play journal. It's nothing fancy. Um, you know, matte medium is not cheap. So I usually reserve that for my abandoned books and things like that okay so i'm just going to paint i'm going to glue something down on every page okay so we're just going to that's what we're going to do i'm just going to go through i'm not going to think i'm just going to start um i'm just going to start um i'm just going to start gluing things down and then you can go back and paint things in either using a color combination or whatever, whatever you want. I don't know what happened there, Rachel, working with DE2. Are y'all working along? Oh, good. Again, whatever kind of uh, journal or, you know, um, little book or whatever you have. Um, all right, I'm going to have to do something. My glue wants to roll. Let me put my scissors here. And the glue on the other side so it doesn't roll into the frame. Okay. So I'm just going to go through. And now I am using, I'm going to have to, let me go ahead and get a uh, baby wipe. Because if I'm getting glue on this paper here and then I'm flipping over something to glue it, I'm picking up glue, then the, I'm going to end up gluing my pages together. So you got to kind of be careful not to do that. Or, you know, use some wax paper. You know, glue on something separate like a piece of wax paper over here to the side so I'm not uh, getting glue all over the paper. Because you you will glue your sheets together. Then you're going to be angry at yourself. <laughs> I get out the part so far I'm with you. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of go through. Maybe this one's kind of a, this can be a, uh, what do you call it, scene. A uh, ocean scene. And, you know, you could put the, you know, instead of putting the ocean going across the bottom, put it up at the top and then under, then your scene underneath could be underwater. So instead of having the water be, you know, uh, down on the horizon or something, have the water at the top and then, then what you see underwater is uh, your scene. <clears throat> put some fish on there right now all i'm trying to do right now is just get something on every page while i'm chatting with you don't glue your pages together <laughs> yeah tina <laughs> all right so again I might find, um, you know, here's some scene from some book. Um, I don't know what it's from. Could be from a Nat Geo. Could be anything. 
Come back here, glue stick. And I am, I do, if I'm just going through and tacking down stuff, I might just put one little glue mark <clears throat> down, you know, a little, just a tiny piece of glue stick just to get it stuck in a book. But if you're really wanting to glue it down, you're going to want to cover the whole thing uh, with the glue stick, not just tack it down. But usually if I'm tacking it down, I'm just trying to go through a bunch of collage fodder and just get it in a book, right? Just get it, get it in a book, so. I kind of like this whole thing here. So maybe we'll put that here. The <laughs> I know, Bonnie, right? I know, this is so cute. This is Wendy Gingler. Gingler? Mel I'm sorry, Melody Ging Gingler. I think I said that right. She said... Um, that I might be able to use this because, you know, when people come, I don't get too many complaints anymore, guys, but, you know, so people will say, oh my gosh, your show is so chatty. All you do is chat. It took 30 minutes to get to a project. Well, you know, I try to reiterate as much as, uh, as often as possible. This is a chat show. We are talking, we're chatting. There's a chat window. <laughs> so I always tell people, look, you know, if you're watching the recording, just, you know, you can slide that little button under the video. You can slide that little <laughs> and just skip over any part that you want. And so she made this for me. Look, it's got a pop up. <laughs> I love that. I keep it handy. Oh, thank you, Melody. All right. So, like, look at this, this bowling pin here. I like those colors in there. I might just put some of this down here. Maybe because the colors kind of go together. So I don't want to I don't want to think too much and I don't want to take too much time. You know, I want to just kind of, you know, and if if glue's coming off there, I want to get rid of that. Oh, I just tore that a little bit. Well, that's okay. We'll just go ahead and tear it right out. Um, I don't want to take too much time. I want to just kind of keep moving and just get something on every page. <laughs> Oh, right. All right. So let's go somewhere toward the back. So I don't want this one like right on the next page because it's the same, you know, same uh, image. So we'll go toward the back. And when you're painting, and I'll also put it upside down. When you're painting in these little books, I always remind you, don't start front to Nanamo. Don't start front to back because you're going to warp the, the spine and it's going to get all, you know, wonky you need to when you start painting this part's not so much but when you start putting paint on um or matte medium you're going to need to you know work some in the front some in the back some in the middle otherwise you're going to warp your spine like i've shown you on magazine journals before all right so I'm just making sure it's not sticky and i'm going to glue these pages together all right let's see here's just uh i don't know some old a painting i'm just going to take some of this do it sideways and make it kind of a landscape. I'm just right over here on a piece of wax paper gluing. So everybody get out your glue and your collage, leftover collage fodder and, uh, you know, glue along and we'll, we'll eventually get to some painting, but I just wanted to kind of show you, hi Gaga. I just want to show you, you can start just by gluing uh, gluing something on uh, every page and I'm just going to tear this down while I have it here but I don't want to use a whole bunch of the exact same thing all right so maybe now I'll go back over to this these colors maybe I'll put a little bit here a little bit here <clears throat> another tree here maybe another one there So, so what kind of journal do y'all, are y'all, or y'all, what are y'all, <laughs> what kind of journal are you using right now or recently? Are you using a composition book? Are you using a Dilutions? Are you using, what kind of journal are you using these days for your mixed media? It doesn't have to be using, doing collage just like I'm doing. What kind of, um. Uh, Making sure I don't have too much glue 
because it'll stick the pages together. What kind are y'all using? Put it in caps so I can see it. And I will repeat it. Let me get a little more piece here. <clears throat> Do y'all have a favorite journal? Do y'all like the dilutions? Do you like comp books? Do you like uh, Janet Journal, which I absolutely love. I'm using a Janet Journal. You mean one that did you win from Janet? Is that what you're talking about? Um, one of Janet's journals? that she's given away, um, Tina. I'm not sure what, what that kind, because Janet has different kinds. She has the weaving kind, or she has woven covers. Uh, Kim says, an old day planner, coil spine. Um, Reread comp books, comp books, comp books. <laughs> Julie uh, says, I collage in my Hobonichi notebooks. Ashley says, I like a book with paper in <laughs> it. Julie G also says she likes the Dilusions and the Dina Wakely journals. Uh, Arlene says my collage is in an old garden uh, and gun magazine. Garden and gun magazine? Okay. Yeah, magazine journals are awesome because there's something colorful on every page. You know, you got something going on on every page. Let's use a hat for her face. Let's put this in here. <laughs> let's see molly likes uh dilutions and comp journals so does gaga she likes the dilutions amira is her personal journal i'm not sure what, what what's it made out of though amira what's your personal journal make, consist of oh uh, let's see yeah Devin goes i love them all i hear you me too I, have, I don't think I've ever met a journal I didn't like. Well, I will say this. There's one one journal. I think it's uh, Diane Wakely. Diane Wakely's journal that has the, the uh, what do you call it in it? The uh, canvas or the burlap, burlap. I didn't like the burlap. Not so much on the burlap. But other than the that, <laughs> the, the whole journal is fine. I just didn't like the burlap. I just wasn't into using that. I don't know why, but I didn't. Didn't like the burlap. Bye, Becky. Let's see a store bought leather bound. Okay, Amira. Um, Herbie likes working inspired by Dee Dee Stamp and Combined Collage. Uh, it was a, okay, Julie. It's the dot. Yeah, the Dina Wakely. I, I always get Di Diane Reevely and Dina Wakely's names. We I think we all do that. Okay, so let's see here. Here's some uh, rock texture. That's pretty cool. So we'll use. Some, we'll just tear some of this up. I'll get rid of the sky. And I'll just use them that texture. And I don't keep every little scrap of paper like this. I've got way too many little scraps of paper to do that. I want something else blue here. Let's see. What else do I got here? Here's some kind of leftover something calendar page just want something else to fill that spot they're both with ranger yeah yeah and they're good friends all right next page let's go this way with this one let's go this way i'm gonna cut this down a little bit it fit. <clears throat> Janet, what are you going to do on your show today? Do you know yet? Janet streams at 1 Eastern, about an hour after I'm done. Um, let me click on her name. Where is she? I know she's here. Don't try to hide from me, Janet. <laughs> there she is. So she comes on at 1 Eastern. Let's see, Wendy, hi, trying to write my question while Dee Dee was already answering it. Uh, let's see, uh, all right, started shopping for half composition books on Amazon. I think you can look on uh, Walmart's website if you can't find them. I don't know if they're on Amazon, I haven't looked. But uh, so, 
Okay, so, oh, you're going to watercolor your, okay, so if y'all were there at Janet's last week, she sketched out uh, the great horned owls, and she's going to watercolor them today. I should have known that. You said you were going to do that last week. <laughs> uh, okay, keep on rolling. Here's some pieces of some uh, plates or some poison, poison A something. Let's just trim it down. And y'all know I also have tons of Society of Idea collector notebooks. I have, uh, what do you call it, um, my uh, everything books, my uh, every, everything, just everything under the sun journals. Um, yeah, I, I know I, I show them to y'all a lot, but sometimes I forget which ones I've shown when, you know. So I just like everybody to see all the different kinds of things you can do. All right, let's keep rolling. Don't want to take up too much time deciding. I just want to pick and glue. Then we'll go back and paint and play. Uh, again, magazine journals, which if you look in my magazine journal playlist, you'll see there's plenty of those. Uh, M M I C P P. Um, Mixed media magazine playground. I forget what we called it, but <laughs> you use magazines as journals. Uh, let's see, everyday journals. Yeah, Every, something that just sits on your desk. Okay, a lot of just kind of green and you now this one. I kind of like those trees. These are kind of all the same here. Let's see, what else? A lot of trees here. So this can be in another page in the back. Let's go ahead and well, I have this here, not close to the one I just glued. So let's flip to the back here and glue these two pieces in. Um, but this is kind of chill when, you know, if you're just sitting there by yourself and you're watching somebody's videos and you don't want to, you don't know what to do. You don't want to look away too much. You're watching somebody. This is, this is so relaxing and you're you're using your hands you're really not using your mind too much you know? but it's really um it's really nice just to have this little a little mini glue book like this i'm going to clean my wax paper off a little because the glue is starting to pile up there um and then go back with some paint which we're going to do that too we're going to do that too but i want to try to i want to try to fill the whole book see like i don't like that together i want to try to fill this whole book with something here's some little shells let's go ahead and put one of these on each side let me turn that over it's wet i'm just over here on a piece of wax paper <clears throat> put a couple shells down <coughs> maybe a little bit of texture here what is it? I hear you. I hear you, Malibu. Just whatever appeals to you. You know, you can put stickers or anything. Because you're gonna you're gonna paint over it. So or Herbie likes the A4 Daler Rownie sketchbook. What's what's the A4 size? Is that the square one? I forget what the A4 is. Or is that the like this big, the bigger one. <clears throat> There's more shells. All right, let's maybe pick a couple of this, this shell and maybe, uh, maybe not another shell, maybe something else. Here's a, like, look at this. This is a, a drink with ice, but look at the textures. Look at the textures in that. So this, look, a whole sunset. There's a there's the horizon, there's the beach, there's the sky, and it's a it's a drink with ice cubes, you know. But uh, we're gonna turn it into a. Let's take this little shell right here. Turn it into a little beach scene. So I'll, I hope this isn't too um stagnant for you guys just kind of just gluing but we're gonna get to some paint in a minute all right let's see what else maybe these rocks here the rocks of uh 
Utah monument looks like. Let's put that across from the beach scene. Hi, Jeff. How you doing? And if somebody has, Jeff just reminded me, Gary Shipman has a new sketchbook uh, released. Arlene might have a link for that. Well, she can't post a link. Um, but uh, Gary Shipman's got a new sketchbook uh, uh, Kickstarter out. So I'm going to use some of this, these drinks here, going the other way. So if anybody wants to peruse that, I'm going to just kind of get it in the crevice here. Or... The, the problem with doing this, and I tell you all this, is if you go across the page into the crevice of a book like that, eventually that's going to wear down and you're going to, it's going to wear on that seam unless you coat it with something. Um, I don't really care about it because this is just a little, you know, journal, just a little play in journal. But if you're working in a nice art journal that you're going to want to, uh, you're going to want to, uh, what do you call it? Uh, varnish and keep nice pages and all that be aware that that's going to happen it's best if you cut it and get and butt it up as close as you can without uh, going over the seam because all this close open and closing over the years that will eventually wear there's gary hi gary i was just talking about your uh, new sketchbook um and if y'all go over to gary shipman's art studio uh channel in his description boxes, you'll be able to find links and stuff to his, uh, is it Kickstarter or Indiegogo? I think it's Indiegogo. I always get the two confused, but because <laughs> I buy off of both. So, um, but anyway, uh, yeah, go find Gary Shipman. The Titan Mouse was created by Gary, Titan Mouse. So let's see. All right, let's keep going here. Today we're just, uh, I, I already showed a whole bunch of my art journals in different ways you can use up. Um, let me get some of this glue up. In different ways that you can use little bits of stuff you have left over. So Julie G sent me the little mini sketchbooks here. So I'm going to um, just put something on every page. And then we go back. Let me find one of the ones that are finished. Then we can go back and paint in and paint scenes or look, there's a little rabbit. <laughs> like this with just acrylic craft paint. And you can start building little worlds. And then you can add little, you know, paint in little uh, characters or stickers or whatever you want. So this is how thick they get and uh, they start out like this so we're starting a new one I wish you could easily get comp books in England a normal size one is between uh, ten dollars to buy one book yeah I yeah I know that some uh, international it's sometimes hard to get them but you know you can just use uh, this is just like copy paper, you know. These so there's any any cheap any cheap book, you know, any kind of cheap sketchbook, uh, school school notebook, whatever y'all use for your uh, school work over there. All right, let's see. Maybe I'll put that there. I'm just grabbing things out of the pile. Let's put it right about there. And then we'll go and paint. All right. And make sure that you don't have too much glue because you'll uh, glue your pages. All right. Let's see. Let's go back over here to this pile. Like, look at this. This is, uh, I think it's a headphone. Oh, thank you, Amira. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, thank you for supporting the channel. I appreciate, appreciate that. And I'm glad you're getting some fun ideas. Make sure you write them down. And keep a society of idea collector book. It can be a comp book, a notebook, a three ring, a sketchbook, a traveler's. I, I suggest something a little bigger than a traveler's because you're going to get so many ideas. It's going to be hard to keep them just in a traveler's. But, you know, they're, they are handy to carry around. So. So thank you so much.
Thanks, Tina. Julie, so I worked at McDonald's in high school and business school. We had egg McMuffin with no meat. Oh, I'm, I don't think that was meant to talk about the art journal. I thought you were going to make an art journal out of the wrappers, Julie. <laughs> going to make a, make a uh, journal out of the wrappers? <laughs> I mean, everybody's using tea bags for everything now and making little things out of tea bags. So. <laughs> Just going to get some stuff glued down. All right. So let's see. Here is uh, some piece of a uh, metal something there. Maybe we'll go this way and this. I don't want to take too long over it because if I, I really want to just to kind of really rush right through this so we can get to painting. I mean, I knew it would take a while, but, you know, I don't want it to take three hours. And you can always go back and add more things. You can go back, um, you know, you, you've come across some uh, a sticker or a little, you know, piece of faux ephemera or something. You know, go back and uh, go back and uh, add more to it if you want. Hi, Shelly, Wendy. Who else? I said hi to Melinda. Keep on moving. Oh. I didn't quite get that glued down. There we go. Again, you can start by crunching them all up. Crunching up all the uh, pages and making them wrinkly and inky and distressed before you even uh, get started. So you're less, less intimidating. I don't know what could be less intimidating than what we're doing right now, though. <laughs> For real. Uh, all right, let's see. Piece of a whale. This would be good for a little bit bigger book. Let's see. There's some uh, little flyer. An old Justice League. I wonder if... Uh, I wonder if... Uh, Mike's in this one. I don't know which books Mike did. How Gary, have you heard from Mike? How's he doing? He and his family. Have you he he um he went off last last Wednesday or Wednesday before with his family being sick, and I hadn't heard anything since. I haven't really done a deep dive on Facebook, but if you're still here, Gary, I don't know how he's doing, but that reminded me to look to ask. Or Arlene, do you know? Arlene might know. Arlene is everywhere. She might know how Mike's family is doing. All right, so what books are y'all working in? If you haven't said, shout out what kind of journal you're playing in today. Who was tuning that alligator that just went, oh my God. Well, don't get in the water, Tina. <laughs> Alligator that just went under your dock. Uh, all right, let's go back to a little bit of beach or something here. Some more rock face. My wax paper is getting pretty uh, gluey here. I have to get another piece. All right, that's full of. Mike was at Edwin's the other night. They said they were in, on the mat. Okay, thank you. Thank you, uh, Arlene. Yeah, uh, I love Edwin's uh, reading of uh, The Lord of the Rings while Flash draws along with it, but it's just so dang late. I mean, those they start like, because he's in Hawaii, so it's like, he starts at 3, 4 o'clock, and finds saying, I just like 12, 1 o'clock in the morning for me. So, look at that. I like that lace bit right there. Let's just take that. Let's take that. I think I want it on a different page, though. Let's go to the next page here. Now, you know what? I think that would be good hanging down, like a curtain. 
So let's go ahead and fold that. <clears throat> I need another baby wipe. <laughs> All right, getting a little gluey here. Look at my glue stick. <laughs> All right, got a piece of glue here. Let's stick that on the. Let's stick that on something here. I didn't really want to get it on this paper. Right, then let's see what else we can go across the bottom here. I just got random collaged of cards and postcards and leftover pieces of, this is those uh, Victorian calendars. Just a little of everything in this pile. A medieval battle here. Let's, let's get rid of the swords and put the, <laughs> we'll just put the, Knights there. I don't worry about my cats, but I do worry about my mom's work. Oh, oh, do they go out there? Oh, yeah, you would have to watch that. You don't want the Yorkies at the edge of the dock and an alligator snap it. For sure, Tina. For sure. What else do I have? Oh, look, an old W.C. Fields. Was that uh, no? That's uh, uh, the Prime Minister uh, Winston Churchill. <laughs> w. C. Fields or Winston Churchill? One of them. All right here's <laughs> some little people. Let's throw that down. <laughs> D A four is around eight by 11 yeah okay then that's like our eight and a half by 11 yeah that's our like our standard uh copy paper size yeah all right let's see there's a little dog let's glue that little dog down get rid of the excess remember a torn edge will blend easier than a cut edge if you if you uh, put it with a cut edge, you're gonna and you paint over it, you're gonna be able to see that cut edge. Where if it's a torn edge, the paint will blend it in better. All right, let's see. We want the dog by a little tree. <laughs> put him by a waterfall. <clears throat> Alligators love little dogs and chickens. Oh, well, you keep an eye on Tina. A little waterfall up there over his head, or something going on up there. I'm just gonna keep rolling. We gotta get 80 pages done. Let's see what else. I don't know. I'll work for I'll, I'll work on it for about 15 more minutes. And if we haven't really finished, I'll go ahead and start painting because um, you know we want to do some painting too, not just not just gluing down. But I want to show y'all how you can use your scraps and uh, make little, you know, make a little scene. Make a scene, people. Make a scene. <laughs> Maybe she's going to go off into the vacation at the ocean here. Let's see. Hi, Ray. Yes. Yes, <laughs> All right, here's some more of that brown paper. Let's go ahead and use that up. And what else do I have here? With all kinds of cards. I don't want cards because I have to. If you use a card, like a greeting card or a postcard, like, or for, for instance, here's a Christmas card. If you use any part of a card, what you want to do is you want to um, let's see here. Let's see if I can get this part. Right here. <clears throat> what you want to do is break it down because it's a card, right? And you're in a thin little journal. P 
peel it apart. It'll they they will usually come apart. You want to be a little careful so you don't rip them. And you might have to go back from the other side to grab it. But thin it out. Thin the cards, the postcard or the greeting card. Thin it out. Uh, if you're in these little journals, if you're in a dilutions journal or something thicker, it's not going to matter as much. But in these little tiny, in these little tiny, uh, that's still too thick on this end. Thin paper journals. You want to thin it out. Let's see if I can grab that. Oh, maybe I can't. There's still a, there we go. Well, okay, it's good enough. We're going to add this. <laughs> this is kind of pretty. <clears throat> And uh, so anyway, it's a good way to use your imagination. Good way to use your imagination. Let's see, I think this page needs something else. Let's add. Oh, kind of like that side better. Like this, we have picked up a magazine from the library for 50 cents each. Yes, that, that's magazine. I mean, um, library sales, if you can catch them or know when they have them, you can always call your library and ask them when they have them because those are the best to get books for like nothing, you know, 50 cents, a dollar, you know. And uh, they're gonna, if they're gonna go in the landfill, you might as well get them to use for collage fodder. I like that. Let's use this up right here. Let's use this piece. Um, for collage fodder, <clears throat> thrift store books. So good, Jane. Let's see. I don't want that dude. Here's some more. I like that blue. Here's some more of that. Let's just go across here with the desert and a. Right now I'm kind of adding like a little bit of a background, but you can go in there and add a focal point, some big a big flower. I, I just don't have any right here. I don't see any, but some big flowers would be good. Um, there's some little girl from a calendar or something. I just bought nine books at their store for six bucks. Score, Leona. <laughs> Yard sales, flea markets, thrift stores. They'll either have, uh, you know, old books, encyclopedias. Um, calendars. Postcards. So there's that girl's face upside down. We're going to put her right there. There's lots of places you, you know, if you keep your eye out and you're out and about, of course, you know, not everybody's out and about. And I understand different countries got different things going on. So, let's see. I'm going to use some more of this. I like this uh, grassy texture stuff. So, let's go ahead and put some of this down. Just keep doing this for till about 10.30, and then we're going to move into some paint, even if I don't finish the book. <clears throat> and what did Fernando get, he said? Somebody said, way to go, Fernando. What did he do? Um, 
Oh, okay, Fernando. Well, thanks for coming by. I'm glad you were able to stop by. Thanks for supporting the channel from Brazil. By any time, we try to make everybody feel welcome. And good to have you. Hope you have a good week. A grass hedgehog. <laughs> yeah, that would be good. Uh, Susan started. <laughs> okay, let's keep rolling here. Just trying to keep it nice and flat as I can. All right, let's see what else. I just got lots of these little pieces that I thought would be good, you know. Here's another one of these. Maybe this. But any magazine, you know, you don't have to use the image itself. You can use it as a texture. Like on clothing, you know, when... Um, Magazines have clothing that have, a te um, you know, the fabrics have texture. I don't have one here. Well, all right. For instance, this guy right here is from a calendar. But look at look at the turban. Look at the turban. See? You don't have to use the face. Look, it almost looks like a lettuce or some kind of vegetable or something, you know? And this is from... Uh, Somebody sent me this, I think. Different um, museum brochures. I get those from my uh, high museum in Atlanta. Let's see. Here's a little piece of something. Oh, a little girl reading to her dog. Let me set that right there. Just keep rolling. I'm just picking whatever up off the table here. Here's a little piece of a, and make a good little portal right there. I don't have any watches or um, clocks in this batch. So I need to maybe pull some of those out and add a couple of those. Let's see what else. Which way that goes is Alice falling. But I like the background. I like that. Let's see. What else do we have? Here's a the, here's the little face. Let's glue her in. We're getting, we're making progress in this book. Hi, 3G Brenda. <laughs> okay, got something there. Maybe another piece of something. Getting pretty gluey here. Getting pretty sticky. Maybe that. And then there's these stars from that, uh, uh, what do you call it? Christmas card? Let's glue that down. And the glue stick is purple, but it dries clear. So. All right, I got some leftover scrapbook paper, some maps, piece of map. Let's go ahead and I think this was a scrapbook paper because those stars wouldn't be there. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and glue down some maps. Let's bend it in the. This one's a little thicker. All right, we're getting there. I'm going to be pulling out the paint here in a minute. Let's see. Here's some more. Let's get a little bit more scenery here. Maybe that and some of this. Because uh, when you go to paint, you got something colorful. you got some colors to work with, right? I think I want that one separate. Let's see. And something else orange. Oh, I like that side better. Okay, we'll go ahead and clean the glue off of there. I'm 
that in. Just flicking through the little photos here. That. It's relaxing to watch Gaga. Okay, yeah, a little. Oh, I'm sitting on my foot though. It's going to sleep. A little uh, ASMR. Uh, do I talk too much for it to be an a ASMR? <laughs> Probably. All right, let's see. Well, we still got quite a few left. All right, I'm going to go from the back now so we can don't warp our so we don't warp our uh, spine too much. All right, let's see what else we can pull. All those matte papers. You can use your stickers. You know, we have all those uh, stickers like in the Victorian. I might pull a few of those out too and just go through the whole book and throw a sticker on every page. Oh, that'll be fun. All right. I still got about five more minutes to work in the back of this. So let's see what else. I got this count waterfall calendar piece. Let's go ahead and use a bit of that. We'll go through that Victorian. I also have the Botanicum one that's got the um, all florals. Maybe we could do a few out of that. Let's see. Let's add a little bit of mountain over on this side. So we'll go through those sticker books and put something on every page. We'll have to do it kind of quick, though, because we want to get to the paint. Um, the Tangy Baxter, did you find it? You checked it out? Oh, checked out her IG. I didn't even know she was on IG, Wendy. Now, thanks for letting me know. I didn't know Tangie Baxter. I don't think. I don't think I follow her. I didn't know she was on. I just knew her from YouTube from 15 years ago, at least 15 years ago, I'm sure. Um, yeah, I will go look for her on IG. Because she was the first person that I saw that took a, you know, distressed a composition book. And I think her video was like, she. I think she had like three or four parts on you. Maybe it's still there. I don't know if her YouTube channel um, is still up or if she's, you know, because it was old. It was here's a piece of scrapbook paper. It was, uh, it was a long time ago. So I think there was like three or four videos on how she distressed a composition book. I'll make, go look for her because it was, it was fun. All right, let's trim this edge. Where's the scissor? This is going to hang over. Don't forget, guys, if you're talking to me, put it in caps. I'm trying to kind of scoot along here. Getting this a little sticky, too. Let's move over here a little bit. I don't want this in there. There's another. I like these little scenes because they're tiny. And you get a lot of uh, a lot of scenery on just a little little picture there. Here's a little. Um, let's see. Let's go with this right here. That's kind of cool. Let's tear it down. No, oh, all right. This blue stick is done. Let's get another one. I have one sitting in here. Oh yeah, I do. Grab another glue stick. Just joining in. Anita, welcome, Anita. We're just uh, throwing some uh, collage fodder into these little mini um, composition books. And then we're going to add some other things and paint on them. And although, if you can't, okay, Riri, I have a great quote. Okay, what's the quote, Riri? Tangie's video still is up. Thanks, Julie. So, yeah, look for Tangie Baxter is her name. Thanks, Julie. What's the quote, um, Riri? All right, I'm just going to keep going the other way now so that we can keep the spine. 
look, look, I have an old strawberry shortcake postcard or piece of card. I might have got this out of Sister Woman's, one of her vintage kits. That may have come out of one of her vintage kits. I don't know. Let's see what else I got over here. This is some piece of a calendar again. Let's go ahead and use that. One more try. Okay, one more try, Riri. Did I just miss it? And you're saying, Dee Dee, read what I said. I've already posted it four times. <laughs> Could very well be. I'm wa I'm watching for you, Riri. I'm watching. Some Let's get rid of the blue off of there. Not seeing it yet, Riri. I'm looking. I'm watching. I'm waiting. All right, these are tiny. Let's kind of bundle this all together. What is this? Okay. Okay, so Riri says, handle every stressful situation like a dog. If you can't eat it or play with it, just pee on it and walk away. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, you guys crack me up. I don't like that one. It's not enough. Let's see. All right, let me come over here. Let's see what else I can dig out of here. Uh, got some old Christmas postage stamps. Don't need that. I don't want any more of those shells. I need kind of use those up. All right, so let me, I think I need to dig out another handful is what I need. I need another, oh, I like those little horsies. Let's go ahead and put a little horse on a page. Let's go to a new page. There's a little horse. All right, where my glue stick is. Yes, we are a friendly bunch, Anita. This is we or or the fibs, friends in the box. F I B S fibs. And if you're here and you're chatting, you're already a fib. <laughs> you're already a fib. Oh, look at these old. Oh, this is some old Marjol Bastine Christmas card. Let's see what year this was. Nineteen ninety six. 1996, Marjol Bastine. Remember, she used to have have her work in Hallmark. Got a couple of those. Okay. Oh yeah, this little creepy little kid here. I like that. Maybe she's. Uh, yeah, let's let's see. Something's going on here with the horse and her mom. And there's a whole story on that one. <laughs> uh, okay. So let's see. All right, so let's go. Let's skip to a few pages and put this guy in. So we don't want him associated with the others. We want to have a whole different story with this. So we'll put him. We got this uh, old something out of a magazine. Oh, oh, what about her? Oh, that looks good. We'll go with those two. We'll go with those two. I'm sure there's a story with this. <laughs> all right hang on let's see what else i got over here so i'm kind of gone through all that now i still have quite a bit of these um little scenes these little square scenes going on here let's pick out a couple more of those some more beach and something like this so let's get a few couple of beach scenes those two go together those two might go together this could be like a See, that's a cove. It's like looking an aerial view of a cove, but it looks like a mountain. And don't forget, guys, Janet's going to be watercoloring the owls that she drew last week. So she's going to watercolor those today. I'll just stick that over there. All right, so I, I need to stop. Let me go ahead and put just a, these, maybe one of these on each page uh, so we can move on to uh, going like into the sticker book maybe and then into some painting. Let me see what else I got here. Let me just pull out another little handful 
and stuff. Like the look, this is some texture out of some magazine. But look at this. See, isn't this awesome? So let's go a page. Oh, it's off of a calendar. That. Mm. All right, there's this piece still. And some different little things off of the calendar, the Victorian calendars. Those are always fun. Let's see. It's too big for this book. Again, I just pulled some random pack of collage. There's some embossed, embossed uh, stars. Another Christmas card. Let's see what else. Oh, look at this. Look at these tires. It's a little thick. Probably need to break this down. Like, see if I can take it and lay, um, you know, strip down the backing so that it's thinner. Maybe can do it, maybe not. Mm, not looking like it. Okay, it's a little too thick. I don't really want to use it. Here's a, here's a little piece of a butterfly. Let's put that. All right, very chill. We're all very chill today. Shelly's laughing at something. What is it? Uh, I don't know. I mean, somebody said something. I thought I saw it in caps, but it rolled on by. I'm, I know I missed some things. Oh, let's see. oh, this is something you can do. Um, wait a minute. Carly. Yeah, something. Yeah, everybody can glue something down and paint on it. Okay. Um, and I know it does take some practice to uh, do the do the painting part to like blend it in. You know, it does take some practice, but it can be done. Do a few hundred of them. Don't email me. All right, let's see. Let's go up here with this caterpillar into the butterfly. Uh, let's see. Sorry, cat and paste. Didn't mean to click on you for no reason. Oh, look, here's another piece of a Marjol Bastine something. Oh, I don't know. Part of a greeting card. Here's some grapes. Oh, here's some more. I have a whole bunch of these. This one is uh, 1994. This one is 1994. Here's one of the envelopes. Okay. Let's see. Look at this little toy car. But it's so much texture and stuff. This could be something kind of cool. If we didn't have the guy in the car, if we just had this and this, that's going to be good. Okay, let's glue that down. Then we'll get into some uh, of the sticker books. Because I don't, I don't want to run out of time before we get into the next stage okay all right so there we go again i didn't quite finish filling it up but we we, we got it chunkier this is what we started with we got it that chunky and we haven't even painted yet again this is kind of where we're headed to different things like this but i'm going to add stickers right now instead of just like paint like i started right in with paint on these but I know stickers are fun for people, so we're going to do that. You can see, though, this is just scraped and paint, you know, just scrape in paint and add some other, like I painted in a little waterfall there. So, and so this is where we are now. Okay. All right. Let me pick up some of this stuff off the table. Throw it back in the tub here. And then we're going to pick some stickers. So these are really handy. You can get like you can get like 10 or 20 of them for nothing on Amazon. And they're just real handy to store collage fodder in. And then, oh, look, does anybody need a hand? <laughs> 
Oh, my little, um, my little Mona Lisa might need. Oh, look. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. That would be very cool. Those need to go together somehow. All right. Well, I'm not going to do it today because we got too much to do already. All right. So there you go. These are real handy to keep, um, to keep your collage fodder in. All right. Next. Oh, I don't want to be in that piece of paper. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is get some stickers. And I want to, I'm going to go ahead and um, squeeze out a little bit of glue here on a, on a paint tray or something. I want to squeeze out some glue because this one's almost empty. So I'm going to squeeze out what I can. Um, when I'm using stickers, I can just pick some up on my finger and put a little extra glue on there because I don't trust sticker. Uh, glue when I'm going to add acrylic paint to it. Okay. All right. So now I've got some glue right there. All right. So let's go to a couple of sticker books. I've got this one, the Antiquarian sticker book. And I also have this one, the Botanist sticker anthology. This one is all florals. Well, there's a couple bees and a couple other things in there, but this one's got lots of florals and leaves and trees so I might just like, I'll just leave this open right here in case. But I really want to use this as kind of, a, it's kind of Victorian. And there's fun, funny things in it, you know. And um, like they have these little girls here and the little butterflies. So what I want to do is I'll just go ahead and start at the beginning of the page. And I'm just going to randomly find things to put in here. And I'm going to pick up some glue with my finger and slap it in. Now they're going to have a um, they're going to have an edge to them. Like here, let's just do this owl. I'll show you. It's going to have an edge to them, most of them. But I'm going to put it on before I paint, so I can paint around it, right? So I'm just going to put down a little bit of glue. They're doing one of those tests on the TV, and. Uh, Let's see, do I put in, I don't want I'm going to put them in the trees somewhere. Here we go. Let's put them in these trees. So I'm just going to put some random things just because we can. The TV's doing one of those tests. And, eh, 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 yeah. <laughs> can hear it in the other room. All right. So I'm just, and the other thing about these books, both of them, is when you, um, they all have the same backing, right? And it has the shiny here. So a couple things you can do with these books. A couple things. And I, I see these now everywhere. I see them at Books a Million. I, me and Janet got a couple each when they were a couple of years ago. They were 30% off at Target. You can get them on Amazon. But the thing about them is every page is backed with these nice, you know, kind of pretty images. So that when you finish, like, let's just say this side. Let me move these over. You can either use stickers from other places and put it, you know, put it on the uh, on the the backing here because it's like it's made for stickers, so it doesn't stick stick. You know what I mean? Uh, but when you're finished, let me go ahead and let's glue this one down. When you're finished with that that page, or when you finish the whole book. What's nice is, I'm going to take this tomato off. Let's move that over there. You can take this off. Peel off the sticker backing. And then you have a whole, you can either make this into a new sticker book or you keep your other stickers. Like, you know, everybody's got sheets of stickers, right? You got sheets and sheets of stickers, alphabet stickers, you know, all kinds of stickers. Well, now if you want to kind of co uh, combine them where you can have them all in one book and you can do that as you go too. like right now I could, I could have, let me see, let me find something. Do I have something handy? Oh, I've got some alphabet stickers here. Do I have something else handy? Mm, I probably don't have any others right here. Okay. Sorry, not taking spam calls today. Let's see. I'm looking, guys. I really wanted to. Oh, look here. 
I wanted to find something besides um, alphabet stickers, but my alphabet stickers just happen to be right here. Okay, so I have this little sheet of leftover alphabet stickers. Maybe, you know, maybe I want some just randomly here because I think some letters on this would look good. Let's just put some, let's put, do I have SOS? That would be good. I don't have an O. No. Okay, well, let's just see. Let's do, um, let's do the sun. I could just do, I was going to say sunshine or something. Just something. Something. No, no N. Well, let's do sub. Let's do sub. Everybody sub. Everybody sub to me. <laughs> Everybody sub. Okay. But what I'm, I wanted to show you is if you have some like leftover stickers, parts of stickers, um, you know, and you've got, you've got uh, your sheets already cleared off, just peel off that rest of your backing and you can, then now you can collect all your stickers you can collect all your stickers on a, oh, that doesn't look too good, does it? <laughs> and they'll peel off because you're, um, you know, it's a, it's a sticker release sheet. So if you just have a few leftover stickers, you could do this. Okay. All right. So I'm not going to do all of them, but I want to, I, I will eventually. So let's just go ahead and cut this down. This is some old uh, imaginations. Does it have a date on it? No, they don't like to put dates on things because then they then you know how um, how old everything is. All right, so I'm just going to cut this down just to put it in the book. Okay, but my point is is now you have a, you can use this for a sticker sheet. You know your old stickers to put them all together, or you can use them at you can make a whole nother journal. When you're done, when you're done with all the stuff. Okay. All right. So let's see here. Oh my God. All right, I'm going to have to put this in the back. because It's going to fall out while I'm trying to flip through the book. Okay. <clears throat> all right. I'm going to just kind of keep flipping and finding things. Okay. Here we go. A little bit. I've got my glue right here. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the backs of the stickers so they don't come off. All right. <laughs> that worked out, didn't it? All right. All right. Let's turn the page. Let's go find some random stuff. Here's this little guy here carrying a sack. It looks some seeds. You could be dropping seeds down in the ground. This little lady over here looks like maybe she's going to be picking them up. Oh, I didn't put, uh, uh, oh, well, I didn't put uh, glue on the back. All right, well, it's stuck just to the regular paper. You really want to put glue, especially if you're putting this on top of magazine images or on top of paint. Make sure you put some glue on the back of your stickers. See, I'm getting ahead of myself here. All right. Let's see. All right, maybe um, some flowers. Maybe a flower here. Maybe a ladybug or two. And again, I'm putting these on. They have um, like a an edge to them. Well, you can't really see on that one. You see the edge? Well, what I want to do is I want to paint that out with acrylic paint. All right, let's see. Let's keep going. I don't want to take too long doing this. I just kind of want to, you know, have something fun. It's a little bear. There's a little mouse. And I'm kind of looking at the size of the thing, too. What is that your glue source looks like? Wait, why is that your glue source looks like outer space collage? My glue source? My glue source. I'm not sure what you mean. My glue source. Rachel, I missed something probably. <clears throat> probably missed a comment. 
I Inspire Studios. All right, let's see. We could put a little wolf. See, some of these are too big to even fit on here. Let's put this dog. Are you talking about this, my palette, Rachel? My my coffee lid palette? Remember, I tore this one. I tore that page. So again, here's one that I've completely used up. So I can just take this off and either use it for other stickers or just, you know, as the book becomes empty, then I'll use it for another art journal. Hi, little sister Cheryl. How you doing? I think she meant my, yeah, yeah, Julie, my, yeah, this looks like a, a galaxy. <laughs> or look, there's a, there's some kind of a, could be a coyote, a dog, a giraffe. Could be that it looks like a, some water waves. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to tear this out. And now I have a blank page ready to either stick some other stickers on here or, you know, be ready for when it's uh, completely cleared out. All right, let's see. Let's turn the page. I probably should just go ahead and start painting. And as I come to a page, just kind of stop and maybe put, um, put something on it. That's too big. You know what I mean? Oh, these are cute. I like this. Is that going to be too big? Barely fit. There we go. This is a tiny little bit. Oh, and again, I forgot to put some glue. It's okay on this paper, but on this paper, it might come up. All right, let's see. All right, let's turn this. I got an owl on that one. Just kind of random stuff. It's a bird, a butterfly, some shells, flowers, some skulls. Maybe that washed up on the beach. You know, skull washed up on the beach there. Oh, let's see. can just make up stories as you go. I'm just trying to do a whole bunch of pages at once. You don't have to do that. Cat. Let's put this cat. Okay, again, now I'm remembering to put some glue on the back. Okay. All right. So I'm going to stop. Well, I, I keep wanting to add some more stuff. Um, I want to stop so we can start painting, you know. We can start painting some stuff in. I like these fish. But the whole book is just, just jam full of stuff. There's a bird, some birds. But even after I put paint down, I can still go back and add the, any stickers or images, you know, add a focal point to these after the fact. You just got to make sure and glue, glue it down with glue because when there's acrylic paint down, uh, it's going to be um, resist, you know, it'll resist. Let's see, maybe let's go with this. One of these. Grabbing some of my glue here. Let's see. Do I have anything? Let's see. Skull watch. I'm on the beach now. That sounds like a fun story. Yes. I don't have too much time to do stories today. I just want to show you all the techniques. <laughs> oh, thanks, Cat and Paste. So let's maybe put that here. Oh. Okay. Tore that little leaf there. 
And then this one is kind of hanging over the edge. Maybe this one we'll put on this side. I just don't trust sticker glue, especially when you're going to continue to add things to it. All right. Clean my fingers. Let me get another baby wipe. If y'all miss the beginning of the show, I did flip through five or six of my other journals showing y'all different stages and different sizes. Here's a small one. So I did flip through these at the beginning. So if you want, if you miss that, go back and see that. I showed, flipped through a couple of my travelers notebooks, you know, so yeah. Just so you can get the ideas of what you can do with them. Okay, I'm cleaning off my hands here. Let's see. Charlotte. What else? I'm probably missing people coming in. Said hi to Inspire. All right, so now let me get a sip of juice. Let me move these sticker books over. And then here's one again. This is one of the half composition books. Where it's this, this is kind of where we're headed. I didn't put any watches or anything on it yet, but see how you can just make up little stories or just something fun or funny or creative. This is a sticker. So, um, and this is just all in a composition, the, the composition books. This is just a smaller version, right? Just a smaller version. All right, so that's what we're going to do next. So, again, see, that's already kind of coming up there. All right, let me move these scissors. Let me move the glue. Let me get my palette knife and a couple of brushes. Maybe we'll do a little splatter. Let's see what else. And that may be enough. Okay, just a couple of brushes and a palette knife. All right, <clears throat> so let's get... Uh, I think what I'm going to do is get out one of my bigger palettes. I love using this palette. You just can't see it on camera. This palette here, <laughs> it's a, um, it's just like a, like a tray. Like I think I got it on Tuesday morning years ago. But I love this because I can just throw out so many different colors. So I think I'll just like maybe put that here to the side. Because then I can get out lots of colors. And uh, am I, am I, I know I have to be zoomed in so you can see it. But I don't know what you'd rather see like this or maybe one back. Like that. Is that better? Do you like it here or one closer? Y'all tell me. I can do either one. All right, let's pick up some of this. Never seen the half composition yet. Yeah, they I got it at uh, I think they're new. They were at Walmart. They're pin and gear, pin and gear brand, and they were at Walmart in the school supply section this year, little sister. And they come, and you can probably order them at Walmart's website, but there's like 10 in a pack for like five bucks for 10 in a pack. Okay, so let's go ahead and get out some paints now. So I'm just going to get out a whole bunch of random colors. Closer, your screen is small. Okay, all right, I'm moving back in. Hang on. Since you won't be able to see much of the paint, but that's okay. Let's see, let me get my camera to relight itself <laughs> all right so i'm gonna just get out some random. i'll try to keep it over here on the edge so let's put out some blue i'm just gonna because i don't know what colors i'm gonna need or use but i, I just want to kind of keep rolling along so i'm just gonna put out a bunch of the colors here and we're gonna just scrape and paint always shake up your acrylic paints because the the oils can settle. That one's not open. Let's get one that's open. Do 
you don't need much. See, this is this kind of book is perfect for when you uh, when you're uh, got a little bit of leftover paint on your palette and you want to use it up. Okay, use some yellow. What other color? I'm just trying to kind of grab every kind of random color here. Some orange or some sienna, I should say. What other color do I need? Probably some black and white. I'll put that kind of back here. There's some black and some white. All right, we'll start with this. If I need another color, I'll just reach over there and get it. Oh, I probably need a green. I don't have any green out here. Let's see. Let's get a couple of green colors. Let's get just a regular green. Here we go. Dark green. Okay. All right. Let's start on this page. And I will have my YC. Well, I got them rolled up, but most of my clothes are painty clothes. I mean, my po look at my pocket here. See, it's got paint on it and stuff. So it's okay. Um, I will have my heat gun here to dry because you want to make sure it's dry before you turn the page. Because you'll, if you're not putting wax paper between every page, which I would probably recommend uh, until it's 100% dry, you're going to glue your pages together. All right, so let's just start with this one. Um, maybe I need a little gray, too. I a blue gray, but I want a gray, maybe a little gray next to that black. Okay, so let's see. So you can start a couple different ways. And really, you, you kind of want to put some wax paper between. I better do that because that's a good example to set. Because you'll glue your pages shut. I'm telling you. It's best if you can, uh, let's cut this in half. If you put some uh, wax paper between your pages while you're working so you don't glue the pages shut. Because you're going to go over the edge. That paint is going to go on to your uh, next page or or the edges and you're going to glue it shut so put some wax paper We're, i'm going to kind of hurry along you don't have to hurry along right you don't have to rush <clears throat> okay so i might just start with some let's just say some gray i'm just gonna put a little bit of gray on my palette knife maybe just scrape on some gray and you can use you can use both a palette knife a brush and a baby wipe okay so i'm gonna now i'm gonna just without cleaning anything i'm just gonna now maybe pick up some of the like the sienna color here just kind of making a little landscape okay so i might do this maybe just a touch of black right in here so i'm just kind of making some texture because i'm inspired by the texture of this piece of paper which is really a whole bunch of people piled up kind of but it looks kind of like rocks so i'm just going to kind of do this okay then i can take a baby wipe and maybe maybe i want to leave some of that white but maybe i just want to kind of get up there i can always dip my my baby wipe in the paint do that maybe i'll make a little bit of a starry sky up here So you can kind of see just by scraping a little bit of paint and um, um, a little bit of a brush if you want to. So you can take a brush or the baby wipe like I just did. And you can kind of just get in here and just start, you know, take your time. I, again, I, you know, I'm going to kind of hurry along because I want to do a few, you know, as many pages as I can. But maybe I'll have a waterfall right there. Let's go ahead and bring this like up a little bit of a cliff right there, something. A little bit of a hill, a little mountain over there. Maybe it's extended up over on this side. Just kind of make up a little world as you go. Okay. All right, so let me, I'm going to dry this now. Let me throw this 
Move that. Move this brush. Clean my brush off in the water. And dry this. Oh, thanks, Lyndon. Good morning, by the way. So now maybe in the background, there's a little bit of a, a yellow and orange color here. Let's just kind of mix a light, kind of a light, light yellowy, light orange. And just kind of put that in the background. It's a little dark still. Thin it down a little bit lighter. Just a thin light kind of so that the white, um, the what do you call it, the... Uh, lines the stripes in the uh, paper are covered up not being too precious just kind of this is supposed to be idea generating and just having a little bit of fun without over thinking it so there's just that just that right there okay all right so now i'm going to go ahead and dry that And I can either make a bucket of stars and splatter, or I'll just use my Posca here, maybe put a few stars up in the sky. You know, again, you can get more random uh, stars if you splatter them rather than trying to draw them yourself. But I just want to get the idea for you. So let me do a few stars up there. And then maybe let's move the... See, that would have stuck to... The paint would have come over and stuck that. So you got to... It's best to put wax paper behind, okay? So that, and then maybe maybe there's a little bit of a waterfall coming down here. And kind of pooling up down here. And then if you see, if you look real close... The piece of um, paper had these whole bunch of people. Look, there's a hand reaching for the water. So I thought that's kind of cool. Looks like a big eye. <laughs> See, everybody sees different things when you do, you know, surrealistic type art. And that's what I like about it because everybody sees something different that they, you know, they'll see their own what's in them. All right, so just like that. Now I'm just going to go ahead and dry this really well before I turn the page. Or I could put a little piece of wax paper there until it's make sure it's 100% dry. Make sure it's dry. If you're not sure it's dry, then cut you a little piece of wax paper just to keep in there like overnight. Okay, I think I got this one dry, but you want to make sure because otherwise the page gonna come back and the page is gonna be glued together. Okay, all right, so let's just come to another one. All right, here's some orange and purple flowery something so now i can do a couple things i can put some paint on it then go back and add a, a, an image or i can just play with this let's see i don't know how many dark purple here let's put out a little purple just put out a little purple okay all right for some reason this one is i need to uh poke a hole in that one let's grab another one some of them I don't close right away and they dry the lids dry the hole dry shut all right so let's see let's go ahead and put some oh wait 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 let's put some wax paper let's cut this one down there we go
All right, so I might uh, scrape a little black and purple at the top. You can do this with a brush too. It's a little messier to do it with a palette knife, but if you do it with a palette knife, you get cool textures that you don't get as easily anyway with the brush. So, and you can always smooth things out with the baby wipe. So I'm just gonna put some of this down here and then maybe some oranges across the bottom. Maybe just a little more purple right in here. Okay, and it's and it's really thick. It's really thick with the palette knife. So um, it, it can take a little minute to dry if you use the heat gun because um, it, with the palette knife, you're scraping it on pretty, you know, it's pretty thick. Okay, so I want to leave all that texture there. So maybe just that much. All right, so now let me clean this brush. Let's dry it. While it's setting up and drying just a minute more, I'm going to grab my sticker book here. I'm just going to flip through it, try to read chat a minute. Okay, so I flipped to this bird that's kind of orange. That might look good in there. I'm going to put my finger there. That little squirrel's cute too. Maybe a little squirrel. I, need, I wanted something really orange. Let's just see. So I'm, I'm picking by color now. I'm looking through here and looking for something, the color I want. <clears throat> I kind of like this yellow. I kind of like that yellow butterfly. I'd really rather have an orange one. I can find an orange butterfly or maybe an orange flower. Ah, here's some flowers. Or I'll go to the flower sticker book. I like this cat. Okay, we're going to go with this cat. All right. I like this cat, but I don't want the edge. All right, so see, this at this point, I've already put down the paint. Now, I can still paint around it, but I really like the textures I got, got here. So instead of trying to paint around this cat, I'm going to cut the edge off. Okay, so. Just depends on which stage you add things. If you add it at the beginning, you can paint around it. If you want to add some focal point or, you know, element at, after you paint, then you cut it off. But again, that's a lot of acrylic paint right there. So I'm going to get my glue over here. Let me get my glue and put some glue on the back because sticker glue is, you know, it's okay on the actual paper. Like if I put it right on the composition notebook paper, it would probably be okay. But, so let's see, where do I want to see? Probably right there. It's kind of right in the middle. Not the best composition to have it smack dab in the middle, but I like it there. And then I might take my white Posca, make sure that's dry here, and then maybe add some little, maybe he's sleeping, maybe he's dreaming of something. Mm -hmm. I thought something over here or not. <clears throat> you can leave it lines and you can add, you know, you can do all kinds of swirly bits and, and things like that. Or you could go and paint that in, but I'm going to dry it.
Still wet. So just something real simple like that. Yeah, I mean, you can just, I, you can just do anything you want, you know. All right, what time is it? Let's do a couple more. Let's see here. Let's do something with the, let's just do something with these, the paint. So I'm just going to grab some paint over here. Oh, let's put the, put the wax paper behind. All right, so let's just go ahead and scrape in some more paints. Again, you can do this with your palette knife. I like doing the palette knife at the beginning because um, you get those textures, right? I like all the textures. Put a little black on the sky. Some more orange, some lighter orange. What is a baby? Okay, so when you get looks like a hot mess, what is it? Uh, Y'all stop fighting. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Take your baby wipe and you can start kind of, let's make a, maybe some kind of a road thing coming across here. Let's get some orange. Hey, hey, knock it off, you two. Maybe put in some mountains or some kind of a some kind of a landscape here, some some kind of a cityscape or some kind of far away hills or buildings or All right, maybe a paintbrush. Not looking at chat. I know it's very, it's kind of very, uh, y'all are on your own day. But uh, <laughs> I hope y'all are enjoying it. All right. Maybe a nice big yellow right there. All right, clean my brush. All right, let's dry. Thanks, guys. But it's just, you know, it's just a little composition. But even if you use a big one, the regular size composition book, and if you want to do smaller pieces like this in the bigger composition book, then just draw you a square and just do it in the middle. You don't have to do the, you don't have to use a whole composition book. It's just nice that these are just cheap and little. So real quick, now I'm going to go back to, um, and you will get messy. You'll go through a lot of baby wipes. Things are going to get, you know, you're going to get messy. But I'm going to back out one now here, maybe two. And I'm going to go back over to one of my, I'm going to let this sit. It's still a little damp. You want to make sure it's dry before you close. I can't stress that enough. I don't, can't tell you how many times I've glued pages together. Because I didn't let it dry 100%. All right. So I'll let that real quick there. Let's just go. Let's start in a little one of these. 
Okay, so I've already gone through. Let's go ahead and zoom back in one because this is a little bit smaller. Okay, and um, so I've. this is the same kind of process. It's just that these have gone a little farther. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a little Bob Ross going on there. Yeah, uh, so again, this is the same thing. Some have some stencils added to it, but it's the same kind of process that you see me doing here. It's just has gone a little further and I've added a little bit more stuff like here. I might want to add let's do some bright pinks here and the magenta, you know, like maybe I want a, like a mist coming through here. Coming right across here. So a little bit of white. And you can do mist, of course, with a baby wipe. I show that all the time. And you can just play on your pages. It, this started the same way. It just started with some random collage stuff. This one I pretty much have paint on every page. Uh, I'll show you one of the other ones here again. And then, you know, I've got all these little hearts floating up there. Well, maybe I want to get in here with some and just put some more little hearts at the back of my brush here. You know, and just keep playing. All right, so that's, and I, I already flipped through this book, so I'm not going to flip through it again. I just want to kind of go through some different ones. And then this is one of the bigger ones. And uh, let me go ahead and rinse my brush again. And this one has more stuff um, done in it, but I'll try to pick a page or two here. And it's the same process. It's all the same as this. Just little bits of collage stuff added to it. It's just more. It's just bigger, right? It's just bigger. Let's see. Get the camera to kind of get the color back in there. <clears throat> so you can see the torn edges there where it's it's not finished. So just all different, you know. So these have some scribbles, some stencil. And you can go in there and paint it in, put in some patterns and, uh, you know, just keep, you can put anything, you know. But it just starts with random collage fodder. And what, to me, makes things cohesive is the color. If you keep the color kind of going, um, all right, let's go on this one, for instance, with my palette knife. Let me clean that off. So I got some of this kind of rusty color here. So oh, let's go ahead and start with the baby white because I've got all those edges there that are not covered up yet. So let's go ahead and maybe get get rid of some of those uh, torn edges. Let's put that in there. But it's a color that's going to make it cohesive. Or well, it doesn't. It can be other things too. But colors one way. Color is one way to make your pages cohesive. All right, now maybe I'll go in here with some of the yellow and orange and do some kind of watery effect down here. Maybe she's swimming. Maybe she's in the water. But you see how you just keep building things up and just, you know, don't don't get stressed out. It's just a, you know, it's just to use up your collage fodder. Got some pink there. Let's kind of wipe that off. Got it on the in there. Okay. Start blending. You can start. You can use a brush. You know, just start using your brush. Maybe there's more um, blue gray up in here. Maybe a little more 
the brown color here. Maybe some more yellow. But I think y'all get the idea. That's that's what I'm trying to get across to you. Maybe there's we could have maybe that bird, but maybe there's some hills in there too. And I'd have to paint around him because he's a sticker and he's got that edge. But he might blend into the hills back here. All right, well, let's see. Banana mole. All right. Maybe I want some clouds. It almost looks like waves. Make them maybe wind clouds in the wind. Just roll some out. Roll out some clouds. <laughs> just you know, just play. Just play with it. All right, so anyway, this is a little bit bigger with one that had a little bit more stuff already on it. This one was the last one that I showed that doesn't have much done to it. So it's kind of like at the stage that we were at here with the little one, right, with just a few things on it like this. And uh, again, now some of these aren't glued down yet, so I might have to take a second to glue because they're just kind of tacked in here. But I kind of want to show you that. The, look at the colors. Okay, look at look at how the colors are making it cohesive. Right, I love her, but again, it's not glued down, so I'd have to take the time to glue this. So, let's see if I can find a couple pages that might have something on them. All right, so this one, I I would say is finished, and it started the same way. Start the same way with just him and a couple of birds and some building here. And then everything just kind of kept painting. Kept painting out of the watch and made it like, you know, the, the wave of time and space. And uh, got a little paint in the background here. See, let's look at the colors. <clears throat> So you can add a whole lot of collage fodder. You can add just a little bit, space it out, because then you got lots of room for background color. Now, again, this is not glued down, but I'm going to go ahead and just use this as an example. So I might have to go back and glue it because it's like I said, these images are not glued down, but I just kind of want to get to show you the idea. You can just keep blending and moving things. Maybe there's some more, some kind of building or some cliffs or something over here. A little bit of blue and brown. Maybe there's some kind of. Little gathering down here or something. You can do some little people. <clears throat> Let's 
so much eye candy. <laughs> Thanks, Devin. Well, you're you got a lot of quite a, a lot of eye candy over on your channel. All right, so kind of get the idea for that. Oh, what else do I have? Um, I already flipped through those books, so that's why I'm not flipping through them again. And then for the last one, I think we'll show you is a, it's kind of the same thing as the composition books, but they're the traveler's notebooks. So it's the same kind of thing. Let's go upside down. So they have, um, they're at different stages. Look, see, let's flip through this one because this is a, like really at a beginning stage. So it's got, it's got the collage and then I started painting it in little bit at a time none of them are well i i can't say i'm not going to come across one i think is done but they're they're just i started painting and keep going and you can just keep adding and you know building and uh adding more collage if you want but especially more paint these are not painted in yet they just got some color on them okay this one's probably the least finished of all these in my stack. Let's see what? Let me get to, where's my brush? What do I do with the brush? Oh, it's in the water. Hang on. Hmm. Maybe there's an arch up here or something. And then maybe some purple and white. More purple. And just start, you know, maybe back in here, there's going to be all these kind of, the kind of mountains and things through this little door thing here. More trees. But it's just a good way to practice shapes and playing and, you know, whatever, whatever you want to do. It's just fun to, you know, practice playing around. Maybe we'll be a big moon up here. Okay, so there's this one, which, again, didn't have uh, much, just some paint. And then these are more... Um, this one was kind of fun. I, I, pu I punched holes all in it uh, so that you see through to the next side. See, again, not finished painted, but it's on, you know, it's got more on this than the other one. And then this one has more done in it, I think. I just picked some off my shelf just to show you. Um, so you can keep building up. I gotta keep cleaning out my brush. <clears throat> so you can keep building up the layers here. Oops. If you don't like something then just paint over it okay now let me dry this before i turn the page because i don't want to glue my book shut books are just fun to blend and play with colors this one's a little further along thank you Darlene this one's a little further along just all at different crunchy stages <laughs> like this one to put some drips down on that one <clears throat> and you can always add more collage, more images, more whatever you want, or more paint. 
Just keep adding and building up until you get what you like. And this last one, I kind of made um, it into kind of a nature face. And I tried to make the, I tried to do a lot of blending and making everything real smooth in this one. Just a little something to have something different. And um, so this one's kind of my nature and faith one. But you can see how soft I try, I'm trying to make the background. So these are, these are just a little different. And I added gold edges to all of them with gold paint. And they're not all done, but um, they're just at different stages. <laughs> like, you know, if you want to see my finished kind of this kind of uh, mixed media collage, that's more in my... Uh, in my uh, abandoned books and my bigger art journals where I finish the pages. These are just kind of more, just kind of play and chill and practice. And, you know, I just like some of the images. So I glued them down and blended them in. And, but this one, I tried to make it as soft as I could. So all the pages are really soft. You're itching to do it, Debbie. <laughs> you can do it in any kind of book, you know. What's this from? Oh, it's, um, I think that goes over here. I haven't glued it down. I think I wanted that right there. So it's fun to practice just blending things. Again, don't forget your magazine journals. Um, I'll pull one of those out again too, <clears throat> because that's that's pretty much the easiest, um, the easiest. <clears throat> sorry, I've got some of my Francis Bacon quotes in here. Uh, the easiest to um, practice in is your magazine journals. Let me, get one. <clears throat> Let me grab one of the bigger ones. I got the small ones too. My mini magazine. But the magazines that are cut in half, and they're about the size of our composition book. Maybe a little bigger. Yeah, a little bigger than the composition book when you cut them in half. But I've just glued three magazines together in this case. Is it two or three? Maybe this one's just two. No, it's three. And then it's a good way to practice blending using the images that are on there. It's like, you know, reverse collaging it out. You're getting rid of the backgrounds. But it's a, good, it's a great way to practice blending colors with your, uh, with your uh, acrylic paints. And uh, just, you know. You can see. Some are more blended. more Some are more scraped. And then you just start with, like, here's an example. So you got some images like this. Then you first start by painting out, painting out the background, and then just start putting things back in, scraping it, inking it. You can just, it's mixed media. You can use whatever you want, you see? And um, yeah, put <laughs> good, Cheryl. But what I'm saying is that this is another alternative to if you don't have a lot of little images to cut out and glue down, like we did, you know, here, which didn't take a lot, but you get, you know, you know what I mean. Then take a, a magazine that's already got lots of images in it. It's already got stuff in there for you to paint out, paint around, scrape, blend, match, you know, and. Um, so it's just, it's, it's a good way to practice that. And plus it's just fun to have it. You don't need to, you don't need three magazines glued together. You could use the little mini magazines that we've done. Uh, let me see where I have one handy. Where's my mini? Where's my mini? Where did I put it? I moved them because they were kind of in my way because they're so thin. I mean, so tiny. But I'm not seeing. Where did I put you guys? Where did I stack you? 
Hmm. Well. Not sure where I put them. Did I move them over here? Well, I might be, not be able to show you the mini ones. Ah, here we go. All right. So the mini ones are just cut <clears throat> and then glued. And it's the same kind of thing, except now you have. Um, like half of a magazine to play with. But again, you can use the images. Let's move this paint tray. You can move the, you can paint out the images, the background. See? And so instead of gluing things down, you're reverse collaging. You're painting it out rather than gluing things down. Right? So anybody got any questions or anything? <clears throat> just wait and see. Yeah, just, yeah, exactly. This is the same concept, just in a smaller, because you've cut the magazines in half. We call it the mini magazine. Mixed media, playground. I'm trying to find something like here. See, it's a little flashed out because we've moved so, around so much. So anyway, I think um, I think I've covered everything we could talk about here. You can paint your own scenes in. You know, we just painted those little cactus in, and uh, just all you can use all your different supplies in a magazine. Okay. Pocol, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Mini magazine, mind mapping, idea collecting, prompt playground. I think I wrote that. In the, yeah, look, I did. I wrote it in the beginning, Pocola, because I always forget. <laughs> oh, all right. So don't forget, uh, Janet comes on in about an hour and 15 minutes at um, about 1 Eastern, and she's going to watercolor. The owls that she drew. She drew owls last week. Oh, I got a mess to clean up in here. Tell ya. That's one thing about streaming. You always got a mess to clean up. Did you glue? No, I don't glue any pages together in any of my journals, Brenda. And I found that by the time you've painted, glued things, it, they're, they're, they're not that thin as you think. You know, they might curl a little on the edge, but it's going to, uh, they'll thick, they'll be thick while after you put in a few pages. Like, let me go right back to this one that's done. And they're nice, they're pretty flat, you know. They're pretty flat. Aw, thanks, Carla. So you see? Then you can go back if you want to add more story to them. Then go back in there with little pieces of, you know, something to tell a story with if you want. You know, or not. I add some little waterfall to this one, a little window, a little grotto, you know. So, yeah. All right, well, I guess I will head on out. Good to see everybody. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Got some inspiration, some ideas, some, got to be careful. See, I almost glued that shut. Some, uh, some ideas here. And, um, yeah. So we'll hopefully see you guys Wednesday. I'll see you over at Janet's in about an hour. Grab y'all some lunch or coffee or tea and go over there. Um, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you, my mods. Janet, Tina, Pacola, and Julie Topaz. Thank you, guys. Yep, there we go. Carla's going, thank you, mods. Thanks, Pamela. Thanks, guys. All right. Well, y'all have a great day. 
and um, just pull out your craft paints and some little pieces of magazine, a glue stick, and you know, that's a start. You, you can do a lot of stuff with that and, and a white Posca. I don't even have to have that. You can do it with acrylic paint. So, and hi, Sarah, Wendy, anybody else I missed? Thanks, everybody, for stopping in. Uh, Shelly, uh, Sherry. All right, guys, y'all have a blessed day, and we will see you later. Bye, guys.